scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. We're beginning a series on faith and I really want us to pay attention and trust the Lord to bless us. Praise the Lord. The series will last all through the month. And um, the goal of this course is to help us understand. For some of us, for the first time, you'll be realizing how faith truly works. And then for many of us, it will be a reaffirmation and an upgrade on our understanding of faith. Hallelujah. It's important once and again that we remind ourselves of these principles upon which results are produced in the kingdom. It says, I will not be negligent to put you in remembrance of these things, although ye already know them and are established in this present truth. There are basically three aspects. Let's put the, I'll call it the course content. Just put it down quickly. Just three of them. Number one, we're going to be looking at the character of the word of God slash discerning the will of God. The character of the word of God slash discerning the will of God. That's what we'll be looking at today. And then next week we are going to be looking at the dynamics of faith. The dynamics of faith. We're going to be looking at the inner workings, how it really works. And then finally, sustainable faith. Sustainable faith. Faith that can take you from prophecy to manifestation. Part of the things we are going to be um, explaining are what I call faith boosters. The keys that keep your faith alive and powerful. We're going to be considering certain mysteries like the power of your seed in keeping your faith alive, the power of praise, the power of thanksgiving, the power of partnership. The Bible says, if any two shall agree together as touching anything. So it's going to be an interesting series. Let's go straight to the business of the night. Why faith? Why do we need faith in our lives? The Bible clearly tells us how that our walk is a faith walk from Genesis right to Revelation. We see that all those who were able to command results in their generation did so by faith. We are going to Hebrews shortly. But before that I want us to look at two scriptures. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. Why faith? Why do we need to talk on the subject of faith? Can you help us media? That is possible. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. The B part is my verse of emphasis. And let's walk with King James. It says, Behold his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. Read on the B part. Want to read. But the just shall live by his faith. So the subject of faith it's not just a subject of prosperity or breakthrough. That you're living both in terms of the continuity of your breath and the quality of your life according to scripture. 
four times interestingly in the bible four times the bible emphasizes that the just shall live by his faith we'll just look at two scriptures this is one habakkuk chapter two he says but the just shall live by in fact he didn't just say faith he said his faith his faith so we see that faith is necessary for both living and living victoriously you may want to write that down faith is necessary for both living and living victoriously you cannot live a victorious life in this kingdom outside of the operation of faith hebrews chapter 10 verse 38 there are four but we'll just look at one for the sake of time let's do that quickly please hebrews 10 38 just the a part it says now the just when will the just live by faith when will he live by faith it says now the just shall live by faith then it says but if any man draw back back to what back from this principle of living it says my soul shall have no pleasure in him a very classical rendition of this was given to us in hebrews chapter 11 we're going to read it further when we read verse 6 the bible tells us just give us verse 6 but we'll later on start verse 1 hebrews 11 chapter and verse 6 please help us i like you to read it is projected one to read but without faith uh-huh stop that's what i want you to see it was buttressing on hebrews 10 38 that if any man draws back my soul will not have pleasure in him so it says but without faith that means outside of faith it is impossible to please god hallelujah so we see that the entire life of a believer revolves around faith now many of us have had this teaching faith we've had pastors some of us have taught it ourselves but i think it's very important for us to settle down and really understand what faith is and how it works we call all kinds of people men of faith this person is a man of faith what exactly is faith and how does it work seeing that the quality of our lives on earth is dependent on our understanding now listen please not our application of faith alone but our understanding of the same you can apply something wrongly dissipate so much energy but it does not mean you are producing results how many of you have seen cars that the exhaust has busted and i mean you hear the car coming so loud like a truck you think it's a truck running without brake and then you see a little bike or a little car that's how many people's destinies are there's a lot of noise and then when you look you find out that there's absolutely nothing but there are cars that would even come and park you not even know that's cars that came intentionally i'm on my way to paradise I'm on my way to paradise. I'm on my way to paradise. Prophesy to yourself. Yes, I'm on my way to paradise. No matter what I see around me now, I'm on my way to paradise. I'm on my way. So why faith? Hebrews chapter 11. It will be a long reading. It's an archive of men and women who demonstrated unto us the reality of faith. Let's read it. 
Please pay attention. We are studying the word of God tonight. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Verse 2. It says, for by it the elders obtain what? A good report. Next verse. Through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. Now watch this. The Bible starts. We see certain formations happening. The Bible gives us a character of faith. Then we see certain people mentioned called elders. Are we together? Then we see a formation that faith is able to form realities. And then we see the word of God coming into the picture. Now I want you to study how these realities begin to piece themselves. Faith substance evidence report or results are we together understanding the word of god you see these things piecing up together then the bible says so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear verse 4 let's see how far we can go now the first character in the bible the bible calls them elders interestingly the first elder in the bible is called who not Adam. Not Cain. <laughs> this, is, this is a teaching on its own. I'm telling you. I like enjoying myself when I talk about these things. Believe you me. I plan to do same this night. By faith. Abel did what? Offered unto God. A more excellent sacrifice by faith. Than Cain. By which he obtained witness. That he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts. And by it. He being dead. Yet speaketh. So by faith. A man offered unto God. A what? More excellent sacrifice. Is it not interesting. That the first thing God uses to describe faith. Is giving. We are going to lions. But the Bible talks of. Offering a more excellent sacrifice. It takes faith to be a giver. Cain gave but he was a miser. And God said the reason why he mised was he did not have faith. Are we together? It was out of faith that Abel took sacrifice as though that was all he had and gave unto God. Meaning greed. Listen, selfishness of all sorts is traceable to what? Lack of faith. That at any point in a man's life, he is a withholder and not a giver. I don't mean money. A giver of anything. It is because of fear of the continuity of the supply. And the Bible says it's lack of faith. Number two, five. By faith, the second elder we see in the Bible is who? Now, Enoch was the seventh man from creation, theologically speaking. Enoch was the seventh man from creation. And then from Abel, he just jumps to Enoch and says, by faith, Enoch was what? Translated. 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 Kabarato satire. By faith, a man can leave a level to another. By faith. I know this is talking of translation out of this realm. But you need to understand what this meant. Enoch translated from one territory to another by faith. Like a man can leave poverty to wealth. Like a man can leave sickness. It says if you want to experience translation, it will happen how? By faith. That he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had a testimony. Notice how pleasing God is tied to faith. It seems like God's obsession is not just praise and worship. God's obsession is that he can find men who have faith in him. Every time you see the manifestation of faith, you see God smiling. The Bible gives you a picture that he's happy. He's well pleased. Number three. And without faith, it is what? Impossible to please him. 
For he that comes to God must believe that he is. The word is there means he exists. He exists. And then that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hear what the Bible says. For everyone that seeketh findeth. It's important we get this foundation. Seven. Let's see how far we'll go. By faith, Noah comes in now. Noah, Kalabakotaya, be warned of God of things not seen as yet. When God was warning Noah, there was no evidence that those things were coming. The same way God is saying you will prosper and there is no evidence. But Noah moved in advance. He didn't wait to say, let me see a cloud first. He started building the ark when the sun was shining bright and Bible calls it faith. Now, I hope you, those who did mathematics, everybody did mathematics. Whether you like it or not. I'm not asking you whether you passed. I'm saying you did it. Are we together? Now, listen. A good teacher does not give two examples and set examples. No. When they give you, especially a difficult aspect of mathematics, they give you as many examples. And those examples have variations of the way the underlying principles are applied. Is that true? Uh-huh. It's supposed to help you familiarize you with the different ways. This is what the Bible is doing. We're working maths here. Are we together? So the Bible begins to give you different people. Do you know everything the Bible is saying about them is the same? He's only using different human examples to show you different applications. How men maneuvered circumstances by faith. So by faith, Noah being warned of God of things not seen as yet moved with fear. The word fear there is reverence. Prepared an ark to the saving of his house. 100 years it took Noah to build an ark. How many years have you waited for your miracle? Let me hear it please. Six months. And you're already saying, Lord, if by November, a man moved by faith for 100 years, how long do you have to live on earth to spend 100 years building an ark? I'm sure the children, when they gave birth to their children, they said, we, we grew up seeing our grandfather. What exactly is this project? And Noah said, the rain will come. And the children said, well, I'm now a teenager. I, I believe the rain will come. And God kept watching and says, it was by faith. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm going to break down faith for you to really understand. And then you will know that many people really do not believe in God. Many of you at the end of this teaching, you will tell God, I'm sorry. Because you will find out that you really should not receive a result. Amen. Next verse. By faith. Now Abraham comes in. I like the Bible. How many people now? Abel, help me. Enoch, uh huh. Noah, Abraham. It says, by faith, Abraham, when he was called out to go into a place, that means your destiny must be fulfilled by faith. God called a man. Are you seeing now? So we see by faith to do different things. Translation. Now we are seeing he's talking about destiny here. An inheritance. By faith. You are not the first person to graduate and wonder what to do with your life. There was a man in the awe of the Chaldeans. Awe of the Chaldeans called Abraham. And the Bible says when he was called to go out to a place which he should. After receive an inheritance obeyed. He says and he went out. Help me please. That's the faith part of it. Not knowing Whither he went. Go to Lagos. Yes Lord. What are you doing in Lagos? Obeying God. You are stupid. God what do you say? You are a man of faith. Abraham. Don't turn there. Genesis 22. Genesis 12. Come out of your father's house. And out of your kindred. And out of all of these. Listen. To a land that I will show you. No name. The assignment is follow me. And the Bible says Abraham gathered his house and says gentlemen we are off. Let's go. 
may you surround people in your life who can let you obey God there are times let me just say this in advance there are times certain people will love you too much to allow you obey God especially for we young people because our parents many of them even those who were not born again walked by faith are we together the last time their father saw them was from one they used to call it from one the next time the person came he came with the lady he would marry a master's holder how he survived the father did not know one heavy box and a blessing don't drink don't follow women be hard working the god that kept me keep you enter a boat and go and the father had confidence that the boy would not die after eight years he now came back and said daddy god is faithful i now have a house a car how did it happen by faith but now you see someone of 30 they say i think you should start settling i say hey, mommy i'll take it gently just buy me blanket buy me sugar buy me tea don't laugh we have been so pampered that the system of faith is eroding our minds so whenever we say faith many people just laugh that's the reason why there are very few people who really do much i'm not even talking ministry in the kingdom in our lives this over pampering are we together now auxiliary faith okay uncle i'll take the first step but make sure you are standing by look at what he told peter he said fear not jesus speaking it is i and peter said if it be thou bid me come jesus said come faith faith let's read to verse 10 by faith he sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country dwelling in tabernacles with isaac and jacob the heirs of him with him of the same promise uh-huh for he looked for a city whose builder and maker is who the lord next verse through faith the first woman now also an elder the first woman through faith sarah herself received what so how do men receive strength in the kingdom You don't receive strength in the kingdom just by eating a good meal although that is important she received strength and conceived seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful now notice that among all these people the common denominator is that they did or said something are we together there was nobody whose testimony was just passive the bible tells us something they did something they said something they did something they said let me say this up front faith is not hearing what god has said faith is fulfilling your own path your own path let's go to verse 17 i want to jump verse 17 are we together by faith abraham now when he was tested did what or tried offered up isaac and he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son of whom it was said in isaac shall thy seed be called sacrifice by faith sacrifice by faith now the bible talks of isaac jacob joseph let's go to 23 and look at moses the bible dwells for i don't know why but it seems to me like Moses was the person the Bible dwelt so much in. 
all of the people who the Bible talked about faith, even Abraham, who we call to be the father of faith, the Bible just spoke about him. But for Moses, the Bible seemed to dwell and talk a lot about Moses, which I found interesting. Let's read on. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was did what? Was he three months of his parents? Because they saw that he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's command. You understand the act of faith. They put him in a basket and pushed him to the Nile. Trusting God to take care of him. Next verse. Then by faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called what? Refused to be called by faith. Just like you refuse to be called... Um, any name that seems derogatory, any name that comes from a background that can destroy you. Oh, you are all the poor ones. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? He said by faith, seeing something, he refused. Choosing rather, think about this, to suffer affliction. Listen, there are certain kinds of afflictions that the Bible says you must go through them by faith. It's a choice. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When a lady refuses to say yes to an unbeliever and instead of marrying two years before that time, now remains single because she refused to say yes to an unbeliever by faith, waiting for a godly man she believes to be her husband. The Bible calls it to suffer affliction. Not every act of faith looks pleasant in the process. In fact, let me tell you something. A major part of the journey of faith will make you look stupid because you are forfeiting we call it in economics opportunity cost you forgo something for the excellency of what is waiting for you than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for what a season 26 esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward and so on and so forth and um, let me look for somewhere now I mean the Bible talks about him right well let's read let's read really let's read down to um, 30 where it goes to Joshua now we're reading down to 30 you see how much a lot was talked about Moses by faith he forsook Egypt not fearing the wrath of the king for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. 28, we are reading down to 30. Through faith, he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood. Lest he that destroyed, the destroyer now, the firstborn should touch them. 29, this is the last of the talk about Moses. By faith, they passed through the Red Sea. As by dry land which the Egyptians are saying to do. The Egyptians tried it, but they didn't do it by faith. So they died. Are you seeing now? Now let's talk of the wall of Jericho. Verse 30. By faith, the walls of Jericho did what? Not by strength. By faith, we saw them going around, walking around Jericho. Are you understanding the character of faith already? Every one of these people did something. Whoever tells you faith happens without your commitment lied to you. I'm showing you all through. The common denominator to all these things is that they believed God and there was a demand on their own part to respond by saying, by doing, by keeping their own part. So their obedience upgraded the promises of God to a covenant. The walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days. Read 31. By faith, ah, yeah, yeah, the second woman. Look at the name the Bible calls her. Now this is interesting. Why didn't he just say by faith, Rahab? I think we are smart enough to know. Then it says, by faith, Kalabakata, a woman who was a harlot changed her story 
by faith the harlot Rahab perish not with them that believe not meaning she was part of them she was destined to perish please is that true what is the wages of sin help me what is the wages of sin that means there is a system in God where men can change prophecy there is a system in God where men can alter obvious consequences the key is faith it first tells you her credentials she was a harlot do you know what it means to earn a right to stay on a wall so that whoever is passing sees you before even seeing the king by faith she changed her report everyone died in Jericho except Rahab not only did she not die she forced herself into the genealogy of Jesus when she had received the spies with peace and what more can i say i really wonder what more do you need to hear you, you see i'm understanding what paul is saying paul is saying if by now you don't see the synergy what more can i say he says for time would do what to fail me to talk of others there were other elders in the bible let's name them gideon and of Barak, and of Samson, and of Jephthah, and of David also, and Samuel, and of the prophets. There were many. Next verse. Who did what? Through faith, subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, uh -huh, obtained promises stop the mouth of lions next verse quench the violence of fire look at that i wonder why nigerian actors have never acted a film this powerful men who did this by faith produce a film and call it by faith exploits in the spirit they escaped the edge of the sword men who looked at death eyeball to eyeball and say you will not kill me and then the bible now says out of weakness were made what men who were born weak but refused that they will not die weak works valiant in fight turn to flight the armies of the aliens then listen to this women receive their dead raised back to life and then the bible quickly puts a very strange balance it says and others were tortured not accepting that means they did not die out of the power of death conquering them the bible says they rejected deliverance willingly they discovered in their knowledge of God that to die is gain and they said I can live but let me prove to God how much I trust him and they said it is within my power to command deliverance but I reject it faith it didn't say they died out of weakness please don't confuse this they died they had do you know there are many people today who died when we get to heaven they will tell you they were offered an opportunity to live but they saw something higher and they said let's go the bible calls it faith now you mourn them and try to look for hilarious stories but they are they have joined those elders it's a list it's a roll call there are many people shortlisting themselves there it says not accepting deliverance that they may do what obtain a better resurrection i'm going somewhere with all this and you will soon see next verse and others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings you are not the first to be laughed at are we together yea moreover of bonds and of imprisonment imprisonment they were stoned and they were sown asunder now you don't like this koinonia is quiet but the bible tells you beforehand that these men had the power they were not helpless bible history makes it look like they were helpless the bible says they they had the power to command deliverance but they saw something higher and by faith they stood 
they were slain with the sword they wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins being destitute afflicted and tormented of whom the world there are such men that the world was not worthy of they walked upon the earth have you been given something that you say is a privilege there are men who they are walking upon the earth is a blessing to the earth the bible says it's a privilege they wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth 39 i want you to read 39 and the next verse i believe verse 40 am i am i right yes 39 and 40 read it with all your heart and your spirit ready one to read and these all uh -huh, having obtained a good report through faith receive not what now read on next verse god having provided some better thing for us that they without us There is a dimension of the manifestation of faith that God is trusting our generation to reveal. And the Bible calls it the perfection of all these elders. As great as their exploits are and were, the Bible says that God had provided some better thing for us. That they without us should not be made perfect now theologically speaking there's been two schools of thoughts just explaining this scripture a lot of people mean this to be the dispensation of grace because you would notice that all the people who were communicated were largely old testament people are we together now and so the better promises that many people think uh they say that it is because these people suffered in the dispensation of the lord the old testament and now we have access to grace the substitutionary work of christ now that is true but i don't believe that is all are we together that is true but the death of christ in itself afforded us a higher platform to manifest faith are we together mm. an example of such opportunities is the possibility to live by the faith of the son of god now this was a possibility they did not experience but that a man can tap into a higher frequency of faith called the faith of the son of god not just your faith the faith of the son of god you can bring god's faith to an operation and get results this is a better promise but that's not what we are talking about i'm showing you men who did strange things through faith and so if you and i must make impact in our generation it will have to be how by faith through faith by faith through faith so how are you going to build that house how are you going to change the story of your family by faith how are you going to get out of that sickness and infirmity? Please understand what I'm saying. There is the chronicles of ordinary men who dare to believe God and changed a lot of things. So faith is, is, is important to please God. And we have a testament of men and women who walked by faith. The next thing I want us to look at is the word of god let's look at the word of god being that this is the instrument that produces faith it is important for us to look at the character and i'll be very brief the character of the word of god write this down please the word of god whether spoken or written the word of god whether spoken or written contains the life of god the word of god whether whether spoken or written contains 
the life of God. The word of God, whether written or spoken, contains the life of God. Number two, write it. The word of God is a representation of his commitment to man. The word of God is a representation. I want you to write this. We are looking at the character. A representation of his commitment to man. Like you have a covenant, like you have a contract between two people. So the testament of his commitment to man. Number three. The word of God represents his will for man. Now this is important. We are going to dwell a little here. The word of God represents his will. Comes from the Greek word logos. Where we get the word word. Logos. The thoughts of a man. The will of a man. The intention of a man. So the word of God represents his intention. His will. His will. It's a legal term. His will for man. Number four, the word of God is the basis, the basis for contact with man. The word of God is the basis for contact with man. I'm giving you certain characters of the word of God as far as the manifestation of faith is concerned. The word of God is the basis for contact with man. That means that the Holy Spirit remains helpless until the word of God creates the platform for contact with man. Number five, the word of God is the only instrument capable of moving God to action. The word of God is the only instrument capable of moving God to action God is moved to the feelings of our infirmities but not to action the word of God is the only instrument capable of moving God to action write this down the word of God contains instructions prophecies promises the word of God contains instructions, prophecies, promises. Also contains principles. Are we getting blessed? Now please look up everyone. Please look up. Now, there's been a lot of argument in the body of Christ as to whether this should be called the word of God. The word Bible comes from the word Biblios and that just means a book, nothing special really. It just means a book. Are we together? Now theologically speaking for many years in the church age, they did not have a compendium of 66 books like this. There are other schools of thought that argue how that there are many chapters and verses that are missing in the Bible. There are many chapters and verses that were added that should not have been in the Bible. Are we together now? And how that there are other books of the Bible. Like there are arguments about the apocryphal books. The apocrypha. The Roman Catholics use that a lot. And then there are other books. The books of Jasha. There are other books called the Annals of the Kings. There is the book of Enoch. Are we together now? Now all these books together have been argued by theologians some of them believe that it should be contained since the character of scripture is that all scripture was inspired of god are we together and that anything that is of god should give spirit and life so i'm, I'm just giving you an educational background on this so that you will understand so there has been a lot of argument in fact currently um i know that there was a time certain uh, I think a Rab Rabonical Association also came up with certain things and they felt that a lot should be edited in scripture. Now the Old Testament was written in Hebrew, say Hebrew. And uh, the New Testament was written largely in Greek and Aramaic. Are we together? Now these people wrote these scriptures but they were not in charge of its translation. 
there's no point to give you the whole story of bible history how that this translation were in bits and pieces some of these pages were missing for many years and then they were found together with what we call the dead sea scrolls and then it was at the time of king james king james he was a real king ancient king called king james not ancient like modern history now king james who authorized the publication of a compendium of these 66 books that we call the bible are we together now so all the 66 books old and new testament together are called now i'm not the point of all of this is not to create a debate about other extra biblical texts or some exaggerations that were done here that's not the idea one thing we know for sure is this listen every man who contributed in the writing of this was imperfect as a person that means if God allowed them to still rob their imperfection it means the mystery is not in the letters are you getting what I'm saying now please you must understand what I'm teaching you we're examining faith Elijah was a temperous man the Bible is a compendium of many things demons spoke in this Bible is that true donkeys spoke in this Bible are we together men spoke in this bible people lied in this bible people use divination in this bible so the fact that it is written here does not automatically mean it is of god you have to get this so when the bible or when we talk about the word of god we are not talking about just the opening of anything because you see we must balance this there are believers who say if you can show me in the bible i will do it that means you are going to get into error the, the bible is a prophetic book you can make it preach anything you want there are herbalists today when you enter their shrine you see other books and you see a very clean bible there are we together and they will read a scripture and instruct you based on that scripture and because it is in the bible you will believe i should walk no so i want us to examine what the word of god is listen to my message uh i think the living logos i done a teaching years ago on that what exactly is the word of god because none of the apostles in the early church in fact even up till um emperor emperor nero constantine and all of these people they never had the opportunity to hold the bible like this it was a taboo they were kept in temples are we together and then of course when the people of god were caught in different kinds of captivities they were hidden and taken from place to place to arrive like this as a compendium a lot happened to them are we together but the bible says let the word of christ colossians 3 verse 16 dwell in you richly so i want to ask you a question how did the disciples grow in the word when jesus resurrected i want you to go back to the book of acts when an average believer got up in the morning what did he study and how did he study are we together you would only go to the temple we do it in the anglican for those of us who are inclined anglican and maybe presbyterians to do this they have what we call first reading and second reading is that true where you come up you read this is the word of the lord thanks be to god and then you know that continues and then there are parts uh, where you recite you know the the apostles creed and so on and so forth like that now other pentecostal circles do not have the privilege of having that kind of thing you just come you preach and then you end this was how it was in jewish temples the priest one of the all of those people would come up and give you one of the scrolls they had messages for every time so you would read it and roll it back and and keep it and then they could preach from it they could speak for it and, and so on and so forth now if you don't understand this that i'm teaching three things will happen to you number one you can fall into the error of absorbing the letters blindly and believing that you are growing in the word because you are consuming these letters that's the first error or number two you can just say since this is not the word of god let me throw it away and destroy your spiritual life there are people today now 
you know i was talking with a few people and they were talking to me and said look the use of ipad and, and now please i don't have if you are using devices here that's the the, the goal is not to to um um discredit you on all of that we're in the 21st century but i think a, a group of gentlemen were talking to me and i said apostle what is your take on the use of ipad as far as the revelation of the word of god we have is concerned because because our concept of scripture is that i'm holding a book a man of god even said the revelations god told john write not type <laughs> amen praise the lord now see personally i honestly i honestly believe you see there's something about holding this thing <laughs> there is a chemistry between the letters of this book and your eyes i i absolutely believe that but i don't have a problem i mean i have all kinds of things we use it on our devices phones laptops and and whatever you have what is the word of god write this down let's define what the word of god is since this is the instrument for producing faith write this down the word of god is any communication the word of god is any communication or any platform any communication or any platform where the voice of God, the ways of God, write it down, where the voice of God, the ways of God, and the life of God can be accessed. The word of God is any communication or any platform where the voice of God, please listen, the ways of God and what? The life of God can be. That means what I am speaking to you now. If it contains the voice of God. If it contains, listen, the ways that is the principles of God. And if it is capable of releasing the life of God. What is this called? The word of God. Meaning as I'm speaking to you now. What I am saying is worthy of being written here. The only thing is that I was not part of those who were specifically, you know, brought together to make the 66 books. God's idea is not for us to be limited by 66 books. God's idea is that our lives become a continuation of the books that are written here. Are, are we together so god's ultimate goal is not for you to be sound in scripture but that you become it an expression that's why the bible says we are living epistles say living epistles so that look at how it is if you read something like verily verily i say unto you the words that i speak listen they are spirit and they are life are we together god's idea is not just for me to read it but become that scripture so that whoever does not have an opportunity and left his bible at home can also read it in me are you getting the point so imagine every believer like a page in the scripture releasing certain possibilities men were not supposed to know god just by reading the bible they were supposed to know god by interacting with the church so that way before anybody opens this book he should open the book and say oh so this is an explanation so this attitude is called kindness are you getting what i'm saying ah uh, some of you are lost let's come again i want to deliver you from religion listen 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 the power is not just in cramming scriptures the power is in the words that are written here that the holy spirit can use this word to forge something upon your spirit so that you become an expression of it not just a talker of it and that's where we destroy ourselves 
the word of God is not Greek the word of God is not Hebrew listen the word of God is not English the word of God is any platform for accessing him listen if there is a way I can make this become the voice of God and a platform to speak a particular scripture within the period of that miracle this is the word of God how do I teach this now help me Holy Spirit if I prophesy to you and I say hey, Jimmy may the Lord bless you and it happens do you know what why it happened because what I have spoken is the Word of God it was a platform where the life of God could flow to him if I use oil to lay on your head the oil works because the Word of God is on it so the Word of God is not the right things about God the right things about God how many of you know granite now this Bible is like the granite the real granite do you just eat the thing like that you open it but you cannot access what is inside until you come to it are you getting what I'm saying see brothers and sisters that is why many people read this but they cannot get faith I'm going to show you something how faith comes but we must understand the character and the Word of God I read a lot I study the Bible but I have the consciousness that I am an expression of the Word of God are we together now so when you come to me I don't run and open the Bible and say this verse is this verse that uh -uh. that I left my Bible at home does not mean the Word of God is at home the Word of God is living and active it's your Bible I'm, I'm teaching you your Bible see I'm showing you why we don't get results I can hold this against a witch and put it under my bed and snore myself into a terrible drip are we together I may think that because this was under my pillow it does not have any power in itself the power is released listen when this is studied by faith by faith means that you believe that although these are letters the spirit of god can breathe upon this this is what logos you see the word logos and rema that people are speaking rema is not just the revealed word rema is when the breath of the spirit comes upon this letter it's like the breaking of the ground not seed and all of a sudden you can receive it so you don't need to recite the scripture you only need to have the life thereof the recitation of the scripture is to add to your excellence in communication and to strengthen your conviction it is not the recitation in my name they shall cast out devils Jesus did not say if you stand before people the name he said is not Jesus we mentioned Jesus so that they will know that the office we are acting upon is the Christ the name is not Jesus the name is Lord and Lord is a revelation it means absolute master sovereign controller so I look at a spirit I'm not speaking but I'm casting him in the name of Jesus the name of Jesus is not a recitation in the name of J-E-S-U-S -S, be healed no the name of Jesus is an office so whether I am talking or not is still the name of Jesus are you getting what I'm saying now Jesus meets somebody a madman in Gadara the demons beg him and beg him and say don't cast out what did he say go now that word go you say it and it may not work because the go is not just G O the go was simply an a voice activated communicator of the word of God whatever he said even if he said come they still would have gone 
it's not it's not like they needed intelligent english because they, they spoke good english the demons say we understand no please don't be excited for nothing i really want you to get this thing are we together the word of god is not just about your voice the word of god is about an understanding that makes you become a platform for his life so as i am walking now i'm giving the word of god expression if i happen to open my mouth and speak to you i have given the word of god more expression that is the reason why a donkey could still communicate the word of god that is why handkerchiefs and aprons they were taken could the handkerchief speak they could not speak but they were going by the word of god jesus sent men in his name they were not born again yet they returned with results they said the demons were subject to us through thy name hallelujah why do we study the bible write this quickly we study the bible for three major reasons number one we study the bible because contained in the word of god contained in the bible as we know now i can call it interchangeably the word of god you understand the bible contains the most accurate dealing of god with man the bible contains the most accurate dealing of god with man we study it because it's the most accurate historical compendium of god's dealing with man there are many history books but the bible gives us the most accurate compendium historically speaking of god's dealings with man number two the bible contains principles promises prophecies from god to man the bible contains principles promises prophecies from god to man so we study so that we can have an understanding of these things number three we study the bible because it is the only book we study the bible because it is the only book that can authorize the holy spirit to make manifest what is written therein we study the bible because it is the only book that can authorize the spirit of god or the holy spirit to make manifest the things that are written therein no other spirit is legally authorized to manifest everything written here now it does not mean other spirits cannot manifest what is written here but only the holy ghost is authorized to back up to make manifest meaning listen listen meaning if i read the bible and i see by his stripes i am healed now listen when the word of god contained is released in my spirit because of this book is giving me access to that word of god now the holy spirit is authorized to make real that which i have believed from the book are you getting what i'm saying now a time is going to come maybe not in this current church age but a time is going to come we are not going to read this again i hope you know <laughs> yeah a time will come we will not read this but we'll continue growing in the word a time is going to come we will not read this again it's not heresy it will not be in this dispensation the book of revelation ends with the beginning of a new dispensation we do not yet know what will happen therein the same way before our time it was only from acts chapter one you know when the church was born and now our dispensation has had the privilege of access to read this are we together other saints believers still in our dispensation did not read this yet the word of god was mighty in them for instance apollos the bible says he was even mighty in scripture
this is where we miss it we read the letters and ben Hadad, the king of syria gathered all the hosts together gather me oh god gather me gather me oh god you see now listen listen that looks very sincere but the word of god is not on that statement i'm being careful so you don't feel offended but it's the truth i want to teach you how faith works do you know for many years i really didn't understand how faith worked until one time i i took out i studied almost 11 people those who represented men of faith from bishop oyedeko to kenneth copeland and his wife to dr frederick casey price to all of the men hallmarks of faith ew kenyon i sat down with these people and i started seeing it i said so this is where we're missing it we recite scriptures and believe that the recitation is where the power is released no sir are we together am i discrediting the reading of the word of god of course not of course not you can see how old this bible is it was not like that something made it so it's called diligence diligence until the bible you you see it i don't know how many times i've laminated this bible again and again i've read it to a point that the pages i can close my eyes you say matthew okay i mean isaiah i wanted to try you know i can literally open any page everywhere is marked up and down so i believe it but i found out that many of us keep accumulating this and then we wonder why things are not working for us the word of god is the spirit and the life of god the spirit and the life of god the spirit and the life of god whether released by the reading of these letters or communicated through the speaking of the holy spirit faith comes now let's discuss faith we're back to faith romans 10 19 romans 10 17 is god helping us tonight i'm working this thing with us because i want us to understand faith we're going to pray romans 10 19 read it please 10 17 one to read uh-huh now the word hearing let me correct two things the word hearing the first hearing is a very broad word it does not just mean faith comes by using your ears are we together the word hearing is a very broad word and there are many synonyms you can add to it number one is perception 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 faith comes by perceiving not just hearing with the ear alone like speaking to you physically faith comes by perception because when you read your bible you don't hear anything correct you don't hear what you read like this you can hear through your ears and remember even about hearing the bible says he that has an ear meaning not everybody has this kind of ear are we together so the first hearing there means perception any platform that can create perception is not just limited to hearing and then the second here in there means understanding or comprehension i want you to correct that not necessarily in your bible i'm not saying it's wrong so faith comes by perceiving and understanding and that by the word of god that's how faith comes when you just read it and it says hearing and hearing there is a dimension of application it means listening again and again and that can help but the accurate picture is perception and understanding everybody say perception say understanding the second hearing there is understanding understandest what thou readest on that was where the problem was the utopian enoch he was not reading he was reading but understandest what thou readest perception so when i'm studying the word of god the bible now and i'm reading it the moment perception can come out of it the word of god has come into my spirit i don't have to hear now when i'm listening to bible on tape or hearing a preacher teach like this and the word of god comes it is still hearing 
so when we say hearing i don't just mean your ears your ears your eyes your dreams your visions any platform that can create perception can impart faith mm. listen listen there are people who have had dreams and got up from those dreams are we together and took certain actions those dreams brought solid conviction to their lives I shared with you about the encounter that I had with Jesus Christ now that encounter is not written in the Bible that Joshua Selman will have an encounter but in that encounter I told you Jesus did not speak to me he never opened his mouth to speak yet he spoke so many things I left that encounter full of faith and Stephen full of faith where did he read anything that we see faith there Do not limit your Bible study to just hearing and reading. Any platform that creates the perception of the word can release faith. So the first is perception. The most common platform of perception is hearing your ears because you hear sounds, sounds. So as I'm speaking to you now, if you cover your ears, it's difficult for you to read my lips. Do you know why I'm speaking this to you? How do the blind deaf and dumb receive faith how do the blind deaf and dumb receive faith if someone is blind if someone is deaf if someone is dumb are you saying faith cannot come to him are we together you see people go to crusade grounds completely deaf Meaning as a man of God is preaching, other people are jumping. They themselves are not even following. Yet at the end, they are healed. And we are going to be finding out later that their faith healed them. So how did it come? Question two. A dead man who cannot breathe, cannot talk, cannot do anything. How does he come back to life? What is the principle of resurrection? And then, how did the bones of Elijah, not breathing, still transfer the anointing to somebody? Everybody say the word of God. That thing you call the bones of Elijah was the word of God. Any platform that can release the life of God. Thank you, Jesus. Say after me the word of god is not limited to my hearing thank you the word of god is not limited to my hearing alone the word of god can come into my spirit through any mechanism that can create perception and understanding are you getting what i'm saying meaning the word of god can come to you through a christian music now you are listening to a song play something play what you are playing watch this listen if this guy is anointed hallelujah okay that's all right that's all right thank you look at what this guy is playing play it are you hearing any words English is there Hebrew is there your language I want to follow me carefully are we together now but you see the anointing that is released from this I can put the word of God on this sound now and you will see miracles happening are you getting it now <laughs> I can put it by saying then this now the sound that leaves this keyboard does not become an ordinary sound it becomes the word of god why a platform that can release the life of god the power of god are you getting what i'm saying now you will hear it and somebody now will come under the anointing and you are wondering the operation of the word of god this is ordinary keyboard that's how you can be listening to worship in your room and faith is rising you are not exactly reading any scripture per se 
yet faith is rising because through it the word of God is coming are you getting what I'm saying the word of God the word of God is at work in me the presence of the Holy Spirit in my life is a sign that I was born of the word if you are not born of the word he cannot come because he comes in response to the word so I am born of the word of God new life is in me so the Holy Spirit is comfortable to live in me are we together and every time that spirit and life is in me he can release what is being said now I can speak it to happen but I don't have to speak it alone to happen I just need to create a platform for it to happen look let me tell you brothers and sisters if you believe this you will know why we pray for the sick not necessarily having to say be healed you just touch them and you're saying sir you see some somebody who tried to say here this is where the pain is and you are touching his head how does touching the head heal pain at the back is the word of god you are only placing the word of god on them so you have become an expression of the word the word became flesh that's what you have now become so you are not only reading scripture you are the word becoming flesh the word becoming flesh when you play keyboard you transfer the word of god to it this is what is called the ministration of life the ministration of life you are transferring life you are transferring life to that word are, are we together now so when you put the word of god upon this now deliverance begins to happen healings begin to happen a sinner can sit down that's why people come for concerts and at the end of it you make an altar call and they come out you didn't teach john 3 16 but the word of god convicted them because it came from the music i want you to understand faith i really want you to understand faith this may look complicated but as we continue you will see how it ties up it will make your life powerful i don't move around hoping that demons will respond to my quoting of scripture i know a lot of scripture to the glory of god but i am a life-giving spirit i am a life-giving spirit my body has become a communicator of the word of god the spirit and the life of god so if i shake you for instance shake me femi if i shake you i release the life and the power of god are you seeing that if i shake you i release the life and the power of god you may be sick i may not know but as soon as I leave you, you find out I've been healed. Now, I did not ask you whether you are sick. The word of God saw a need. And because I have become the word of God, it feels it immediately. Are we together? Say I'm a manifestation of the word of God. Please, I want you to say it. I am a manifestation of the word of God say this my goal for studying scripture my goal for studying scripture is not just to be learned but to be an expression of the word of God my goal for studying scripture is not just to have head knowledge it's not just to be learned but to be a walking Bible so when men look at your life they can read a scripture immediately through your life living epistles we fool ourselves in the body of christ that because we have finished the bible cover to cover and by god's grace i've done this many times so we say i've read the bible cover to cover if i'm a man of god as i'm speaking the bible says blah, blah, blah. And, and once they are talking these spirits are saying my god these guys don't even know what the word of god is we fool ourselves and at the end of it nothing happens are we together and then somebody comes with a saxophone or a guitar and starts playing anywhere you see the manifestation of the power of god the word of god must have preceded it because the holy spirit is not authorized to manifest when the word of god has not gone ahead so when you see the word of god moving when you see the holy spirit moving he's confirming the word confirming the word whether spoken or revealed the manifestation of the word of god the manifestation of the word of god i tell you as i as i speak this thing you see sometimes 
because we are talking about the word of God and we are dividing it accurately to open up these things the spirit of God let me tell you something about the Holy Spirit the moment you begin to communicate the word of God very accurately it's like his body is itching him he wants to move he wants to confirm it I'm telling you how to confirm the word it's not Holy Spirit move move that's not it let the word of God be communicated accurately and it's like it's like he cannot I'm not talking of just shaking under the anointing I'm talking of signs and wonders and miracles you place the word of God upon everything the word of God is on the air the word of God is on your chair everything that can communicate the word of God that's what makes the anointing when the word of God saturates a place the Holy Spirit follows everywhere the word goes the Holy Spirit follows everywhere the word goes if the word goes to your kidney he's following it there if the word goes to your academics is following it there if the word goes to your business you don't get the holy spirit to move outside the word of god is witchcraft so send the word of god and the holy spirit follows the word are we together yeah you send the word of god and the spirit moves in that direction so if i declare that i prophesy to your finances if the Holy Spirit does not back that, then it was not the word of God. Even if I quote scripture, are we together? So the manifestation of the Holy Spirit is proof that the word of God has been released in a place. The manifestation of the Holy Spirit is proof that his word has been released. We pride ourselves with theological knowledge. We pride ourselves with knowledge of scriptures. John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world. But it's not the word of God. So the Holy Spirit cannot back it. Please hear what I'm teaching you. The Holy Spirit only comes to the scene. When the word of God is released. Whether through speaking. Or through any platform. Including your body. Being a manifestation. So when you want to see the energy of the spirit released then be sure that what you are speaking or doing is the word of God are you getting what I'm saying now mm. if it's not the word of God you are not going to get the Holy Spirit there please hear me the degree to which we have seen the miraculous is the extent to which the word of God has come out so you can speak hundred words only 20 of them are the word of God the Holy Spirit backs only 20% of your communication are you getting what I'm saying this is the difference between what we call anointed people they may not have all the verses but their bodies have become greater platforms to release the word of God so the Holy Spirit in answer to the word confirms them are we together I'm a carrier of the word of God not just by cramming scriptures I have read it but the word of God flows through me like water. The spirit and the life of God. I understand the principles. As I walk in the consciousness of that principle and with the understanding. Every time I utter my word or respond in any direction as the Holy Spirit would direct. That's what we call faith. I will tell you what faith is now. Faith is your response to and from the word of God not just scriptures your response to the word of God so you have to make it be sure that what you are responding to is not just scripture but the word of God and it is called faith and that faith will bring performance more on that next week I'm not talking so much about I need you to understand the word of God so that when we begin to teach on the dynamics the operation of faith you will know why certain things are not happening in our lives our idea of faith largely has been correct assimilation of scripture correct recitation of the same and then expectation in hope that something will happen it will never work that way are we together john 3 16 for this and that and that and that happened for we know the grace of our lord that though he was poor yet he became rich so that we through his poverty might be, and we wrap it and we say lord this is your word respond and say no it is true that I spoke that through the servants. But you are only speaking scripture theologically. Listen, 
let me tell you if the word of god was just scripture then the scribes should be have been the greatest careers of the world they knew the entire pentateuch of heart and jesus looked at them and said ye are not knowing the scripture he said you search the scripture for a thing in them you will find life and you will not come to me listen if jesus appears here and somebody is writing a book the bible says scripture testified of him is that true scripture listen if you are writing a book about me and i show up who is a more authentic medium are you getting what i'm saying now so the scribes had head knowledge that prophesied about jesus when jesus came they said no jesus we don't want you but we want the scrolls and he said you are hypocrites you read the scrolls they talk about me now you're reading i am here as the word become flesh you are rejecting me yet you are doing bible study and jesus said you are hypocrites are we together but a woman just ran and said thou i mean blind but if i may but touch the hem of who the word of god she perceived she didn't read anywhere but she saw men looking and she said i have heard and something has happened in my spirit i perceive and i understand that this man has power to heal there is nowhere in scripture where she read that you should take a step of faith she created an action based on her perception god honored that action and she was healed i'll teach you that next week don't take action until you perceive and understand the word you will be wasting your time so we take many steps do you know people can come and stand here with their tight frowning no perception no discernment no understanding all these men of god am i sure a jimmy's tie i'm looking at this tie i hope it's not my money that is going to buy another tie and you are there grumbling and arguing and you drop that and the bible says whatever is not of faith is sin now, men of God will not tell you that because they need the money. So they'll say, no problem. Unbelief or not, that's your business. Just drop it. Let's use it. But I'm telling you the sincere truth. It must be by faith. So here's what the Bible says. Hebrews 11 verse 6. Hebrews 11 verse 6. Give it to us, please. Goodness. Hebrews 11 verse 6. Hebrews 11 verse 6. I want us to read it. Now you will understand all that I've taught you. There is a protocol to faith. Ready? want to read <laughs> but without faith it is impossible to please him full stop whoever wants to be a man of faith what is the first step it says for he that comes to god must believe not his word leave the issue of manifestation you must believe that he exists it your perception must on you must understand the person you are dealing with the integrity of his person and his ability to provide for you number one then number two that he's a rewarder that he's a rewarder there are two things god wants to be known for to release faith one that he exists his existence means a lot because if he exists then he's mighty if he exists then he can hear my God's not dead, he's surely alive. He's living on the inside, roaring like a lion. There's a song like that. Have you read, have you listened to that song? Do you believe God is alive? I know you will say yes. Your life does not show it. Are we together? Because if you believe, it will compel you to take action. Look at me. Listen. Do you believe? There is water on this table do you believe do you believe now you can come and carry it do you believe there is water on this table yes you will not come and carry it because you consider it to be a waste of time so do you believe there is god yes so you can relate to him this is why people do not pray they don't believe god is alive let me tell you the truth the revelation behind a life of prayer it's not religious struggles it's not an attempt to compete with people i pray for eight hours you pray for six hours all that is junk prayer is predicated upon an understanding that unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come 
after the service people are going to be waiting here queuing right to the back because you believe i'm not going what if i just i use style and just run out if i do that for three weeks you will stop standing here because it's a sign that you doubt my ability the first doubt of believers is not even in the power of god to produce that result it's even his existence i know you think this thing i'm telling you is powerful the word of god is guiding us here do you believe god exists it's a very big deal i've given my life to him no problem do you believe he exists he's alive he's alive sing it he's alive He's alive. Amen. He's alive. Jesus is alive. Forever he's alive. Amen. Do you know why every time you visit a herbalist, you must live with a charm? You don't visit whether that charm is a goat or is something you must live with. We call them tokens. Tokens are representations of the existence of something. Are we together? So you go to him. I must marry that man. Put him in a bottle for me. And then they carry his picture. Throw it in a bottle and lock it. Correct? And give you. Say hide it somewhere. For as long. Let me tell you. The devil does not need that bottle. He needs your faith. And since your faith must be tied on something. He gave you a bottle. Let me tell you why it still works. Even if you are born again. You are born again because. Although you are born again. You truly still. You have tasted. Of the power of that charm. Something in you still tells you it's working. So it continues working. The day a higher revelation. And a higher anointing contents. It stops working a man of God one time was hungry and was passing and he saw a chicken that they had slaughtered for sacrifice he carried the chicken and roasted it and ate do you know why he never believed that that thing can do anything to him he said they shall take up poison who the believers believers in God not in miracles you believe in miracles but do you believe in God we are talking about knowing that God exists you know Joshua Selman exists, but do you believe he exists? Let me tell you something. You are a hypocrite if you claim to believe what is written here and don't believe the one who wrote it. Are we together? Oh, I believe all things are mine. Do you believe the God who said it? Lord, I don't believe in you, but I believe in what you said. Does that make sense? You don't believe in me, but you believe in what I said. No. No me and what i have said are one my word is my bond my word represents me when i'm not there you can take my word to represent me if i listen sam if you are dedicating an album and i stand before koinonia listen to me and i say joshua selman on behalf of myself i give you one million naira what is that that's my word now during if you go somewhere and you are doing your calculations you will calculate and say one million naira is coming from apostle have i given you the one million but you know me you believe in me it's up to you now to believe i can deliver it let me tell you what you do you first size me and look at me can apostle really bring out one million naira are we together so when you ascertain that i'm able to do it number two am i willing when you ascertain that you say i believe it so when god says i will bless you your own belief sizes him and says no god you are great but this triplet you are talking about don't don't joke with us so the cure is not just action the action part is hard we are coming to that but if you act upon something you don't believe is a waste if you believe in something and don't act it's also a waste are you seeing how we are cleaning it up but we are starting tonight 
with the understanding of God, his word, his integrity. Say, I believe in God. Shout it, I believe in God. I believe he is alive. I believe he exists. That's why I love the Apostles' Creed. The Anglicans recite it all the time. Right? I love it so much because it's an encapsulation. It's called, it's, it's like a statement of faith. Sometimes you need to recite what you really believe. I believe my business can rise. I believe my life can do this. I believe my wife can get pregnant. That's wonderful. But do you believe in God? There is no guarantee in scripture that if you believe those things, they will happen. He that believeth on me. John 12, 14. Please give it to us. We'll find somewhere and pray now. John 12, 14. John 12, 14. The son of the living God himself speaking. John 12, 14. John 14, 12. John 14, 12. John 14, 12. Thank you. Read it please everyone. One, two, read. Stop. It is important who you believe. Not just that you believe. Who you believe. Jesus never said if you believe on things, you believe that things are, will happen, they will happen. He says, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believe on what? On me. I want your faith to be directed to me, not my works. Not my works. I believe all things are possible. But the reason why I believe all things are possible is because of him that can make them possible. The end of your faith should be tied to a person and his integrity, not the things he can do. Restful confidence. He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And what? Greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my father. Do you believe in him? Do you believe he exists? Sister, listen to me. You, it's impossible to believe that fibroid will leave you until you believe in who the healer is. Are you getting what I'm saying? Man of God, I believe my ministry will be great. You are joking. You are just playing games. But I know whom I have believed. And so I am persuaded in his ability that he is able. The first thing is to believe the person. Then I am persuaded. We leave the person and we believe in the ability and the things that will happen. And we never get results. He said, I see this happen all the time. Innocent people not taking out time do you know this is why intimacy is important with god intimacy does not help you believe things intimacy gives you an encounter an encounter furnishes the reality of god in you so that whatever he says is as good as him so you can believe jesus son of god i believe in you I believe in you. We call you a Messiah, Jesus, Son of God. I believe in you. I believe in you. Sing it one more time from your heart. Yeah. When I lock up myself, I carry my Bible. I set an atmosphere that brings an intense presence of God. And when I lie down and open my Bible, number one, I am not reading for preaching. MOG, I'm not reading for preaching. I'm not reading for recitation. John chapter 1, verse 5, in this and that and that. And, and we no, 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 no. I'm looking at it. Jesus said, If you believe in me, and I sit down there. Holy Ghost, help me believe this truth. Jesus said, his presence is there. Jesus said, and in my mind, I'm looking at people gathered for miracle service. They don't know me. Maybe they are discussing among themselves, where is the man? 
and the man is there walking on his faith lord i know you are able i don't know what i'm going to see here but i believe in you there is no assurance anywhere physically but i believe in you and when i step and come right here and sit down the moment the worship team finishes do you know what i tell the holy spirit every time i say let's go it's time to go and do this as i climb this stage i'm an ordinary man but not alone he's standing by my side and so I can speak and make every audacious statement. And because of what is coming, listen, let me tell you, I believe in Jesus. I really believe in him. When he tells me something, I don't doubt. You will always doubt God till you encounter him. It's not the issue of I'm trying. Now, let me tell you, watch this. The body of Christ has fabricated a formula that if not careful, it will be our carnal attempt to recite and to 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 um, replace encounters is the concept a false concept of recitation of scriptures listen what we call confession comes from the word homologio meaning speak that which has been said i believe that there is a step to that but let me tell you what many people do we think that we just get up and start speaking I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed in the name of Jesus. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I won't hear anything. I'm blessed, I'm blessed. And you said, I said it hundred times. Listen, I'm not, I'm not being sarcastic. I hope you understand. I'm just trying to correct us because we will soon get frustrated with all those things. I'm blessed, I'm blessed in the name of Jesus. I'm talking to my mind. No, listen, your mind was designed to submit. Your mind is not that rebellious. It was designed to submit. You have not created the condition for it to submit. The Bible says, casting down every yetzah, every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ. Your mind can submit. The mistake that we make is that we don't take our time to meditate. Lord, this shall not happen. In the name of Jesus, it can't happen. But it's happening. It can't happen. In the name of Jesus, it can't happen. It can't happen. Me, God forbid, I must carry my child. I'm carrying my miracle baby. Now, that is good. I don't have a problem with that confession. But what is the revelation behind it? What is the revelation that sponsors that thing? What you are speaking is not the word of God. What you are speaking is emotion. What you are speaking is fear. I can guarantee you most of what we do is a reaction to fear. It's just a spiritual reaction to fear or a spiritualized reaction to fear. Because, listen, if you are speaking right now and they tell you your registration date is closing now for whatever, maybe a job, you need 100,000. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I call forth help us. They are coming. Hey, they are coming. Oh, oh God, they are coming. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Let me show you that it's not just faith, it's fear. They were praying for the apostles to be released from prison in the book of Acts. They were praying and asking that God will send angels. God now sent the angels. Peter came out and they opened the door, saw Peter shot him back and kept praying that's what many of us do are we together no i can't find my wallet i'm a tighter what is this i'm a tighter i dropped my tight in koinonia oh god i'm a, I'm a tighter at least it's better than nothing but i'm teaching you restful confidence say restful confidence if you are to be honest you will know it's fear I notice the loudest prayer in koinonia is against the spirit of death and the calling of destiny helpers i have noticed it personally that every time i say everybody stand up and you know sometimes you can lead it seriously be serious i mean when we say go is like an arrow all kinds of where are your destiny helpers ah, where are they Praise the Lord. Can you get to a point where when you speak, you speak based on conviction? When you say, I shall not die, you are not helping yourself believe. An encounter 
has furnished a reality in your life and it's on the strength of that reality you say I shall not die how many of you prayed to sit down on your chair How many? How many of you prayed to sit down? Okay, you need, okay. Praise the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying? How many of you? When you came through perception and understanding, you knew that there are laws that were created by God to keep this chair. Who among you is sitting down now and say, Oh Lord, I really believe you. Ah, no, this chair, you can't disgrace me now. Now, does that mean you are not a believer for keeping quiet? That's how restful your life should be. You can sit down inside fire and you only talk when necessary. Because there is something you know. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please, I, I want you to believe what I'm teaching you. Otherwise, this series is a waste. I'm taking out time to pound on this because I want you to believe God. You step in and somebody looks at you and says, I'm your grandmother. Go and ask about the people I have killed. I vow that you will not see December this year. It's a vow. I vow that you will not see December this year. You now go back. Lord, is this how I'm going to go? What did I do? Who did I offend? Let me tell you what most believers will say. God forbid. Then later they will sleep and say, Kai. Kai. Now let me tell you. That woman herself is even afraid of you. She's but because she gave an attitude and said, I dare you. She left you with an attitude. You too, you claim to have the attitude. But there was no restful confidence. After a while, you say, Apostle, um, I don't know, don't mind, I don't be, it's not me, but I'm just telling you so that you will pray for me. It's still fear. It's still fear. The same way an intelligent student writes an exam, he knows what he wrote, and they'll just look and say, Do you know only four people passed? The student may just feel an inkling of fear, but the student knows that even if it's one student that passed, I am the one. Now, he's not boasting out of nothing. He knows what he read. He understood it. He cross-checked the question after the exam and he was absolutely satisfied. It's called restful confidence. The other person who does not really know what he did is now hoping. That's why when he sees, ah, finally, have you seen the best student? Lord, I'm grateful. I give you all the praise, but I expected it. This is how your life must be. That you know God. Sister, you are 34. You are not going to marry. And all of a sudden, you start going and say, Talk. mountain to mountain, valley to valley, everywhere. You start running all around. And you just fidget. There are many of us, the moment somebody speaks to you, someone holds your hand and says, For sinner, I had a vision. In that vision, I saw cats eating you up. For sinner does not sleep for one week. Are you getting what I'm saying now? I will tell you what the problem is. The problem is not the vision. The problem is not whether it's true or false. The problem is you. If I look at you now and say, For sinner, you're a man. Will you pray about it? I will tell you why. It's not just because God told you you're a man. There are too many things that have happened in your life to convince you beyond imagination. You don't just believe you're a woman. You don't just trust you're a woman. You know you're a woman. Notice the progression. I'm believing God. I trust God. I know my God. I know him. I know him. God, it doesn't look like him. I know him. When can you say you know him? That's what Moses knew. He knew his ways. Though he slay me, yet will I praise him because I know him. I know him. I'm trusting God to get to a point in my life where I don't just jack up my faith trying to believe God. Trying to believe God. Trying to believe God. 
trying to believe God trying to believe God oh Lord I believe in you oh Lord I... no 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 at that point you will move mountains you will join these elders brothers and sisters mountains will stand before you people will even pity you their eyes because they think you are dead at the end of it they will not see the mountain again and they'll see you shaking yourself that's how great people live in this life this ministry you have seen is here by faith by faith by faith by faith I've come to a point where I'm not trying to believe God I really trust him faith is based on the speaking of God trust is based on your experience with God you have had an experience with God there is a track record of his credibility so you can trust yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death he says I fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me he says thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies we need to begin to walk by faith there are too many things in our lives that attempt to challenge our trust in God but you must get to a point where you say from today I walk by faith and the first encounter is to make the Word of God real in your life look at me the greatest investment you can make in your life is not having an education the greatest investment you can make in your life is not just having good friends the greatest investment you can make in your life is to make your life saturated with the Word of God where you take the Word of God as a project you have given yourself a basis for true faith because there are mountains to cross I like that Don Wen song though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before and this is the song we'll be singing forever holy is the Lord holy Though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. Listen, Kononia, I speak to you. You are not the first to go through challenges. There are men on earth who have crossed this river. They have crossed the river of barrenness. They turn barrenness to triplets. Are we together? There are men who turn being a pauper, not affording 10 naira to giving billions to nations. There are men of God who turn two members to nations. You are not the first. There are those who overrode the mockery of men. It's time for you to leave the level you are in. This life of pity. Oh God, won't you show up for me? No, sir. He will show up when you are ready. Though we are few, you're surrounded by many who have crossed the river before. And this is the song we'll be singing forever. Oh, holy is the Lord. Listen. so God puts his word upon your life Femi you will be great he will never do any other thing until you do something with the word you can sit there forever and die a failure it does not mean he lied the word of God does not act on itself by the time you look at your life my father is not doing well my mother is not doing well I came from a village please listen I am one of 17 children I am even the second to the last born. I am 35 years old. I've not done anything meaningful. You look at all of this and God says, if you believe me, God never gave men instructions until he revealed himself to them. The first assignment was to reveal himself to Abraham, revealed himself to Moses. Then he now sent them. 
they every time they wanted to disobey they remembered him they remembered him the same way somebody want to tell you look there's one there's somebody that i saw in whatsapp i spoke with him and he said he's looking for a wife and the way you have been desperately looking for a husband or a wife i think i can do a range for you and he said no problem god works in many ways i believe but that is not faith it's unbelief are we together listen make up your mind today that you will never take any action in unbelief until you stay and believe god this is why people who rush through things in life suffer they rush to start business they rush to marry they rush to enter a relationship they rush to do this do you know why when challenges push you you will not just look at what you are looking at you have to look at god you have to go back and say lord i know you all you spoke you said koinonia will rise you said you will give us a voice i believe you many graduates are holding their certificates roaming around the streets in nigeria angry the same people can bring notes for you when they were in 200 level they said god told me i will be great fast forward many years they are now holding they were never believing in god they were believing in that certificate they were just hoping that god was the certificate now that they've held the certificate they are moving around and you are asking them where were your visions where were your dreams you said god gave you courage god told you you will never fail brothers and sisters what has god told you leave what he has told you and focus on him the one who spoke i'm reintroducing to you today a god who is dependable i'm reintroducing to you today a god who had parted the sea this bible is a chronicle of his ability a chronicle of his integrity so that you will believe him away with all those talk we have mocked god we have cursed god because of our challenges i know there are challenges i never said there would not be that's why i read you hebrews 11 but i want to see your reaction show me your reaction under fire and i show you whether you know god or not show me your reaction when things are not happening and i can tell you whether you know god though he slay me will i be honest if i say i do not know him i know him i know him he is dependable if i die today without a miracle i still know him that's what made the people in hebrews 11 they knew him so much they rejected deliverance listen listen imagine for instance that god gives you two options in life just imagine and god says you will go through a season with me for six years and you will become so mighty or you will go through a season for one year you will start moving fast but you will not become as mighty as six years let me tell you what many of us will choose a bed in hand is what 20 in the bush oh god thank you for giving me this one year i can i can pay the price but there are those who know god and say lord even if it's 10 years let's go because one step in faith will give you 20 years worth of miracle one step in faith one step in faith have you not seen how god wiped the tears of people and changed the lives of people overnight men who trusted god koinonia i'm introducing to you a god you need to know before you start claiming to believe his word you must have an encounter with this god you must create the atmosphere for his word to be real in your life let it not just be talk 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 cheap talk talk no sir anything god cannot give me no man would claim to say he can give me anything god cannot give me that's why i can look at any man and say thank you for your open door but go with it god did not open that door and i will not go back to sleep and regret i believe god brothers and sisters look at me i have gone through mountains and valleys in my life make no mistakes about it don't you think i'm just talking to you from a standpoint of comfort i have gone through things that very few people can go through and survive i know that god is mighty by and large in life 
everything you trust will fail you and a time will come you will no longer hold on to things but a person pastors have called me man of god i've listened to your messages but nothing is working in my ministry and the first question i ask them is are you sure you are called and they say yes i said if you believe you are called did you hear what god told you they say yes i say stay there stay at the last instruction he gave you and die there there's a song that says i will be a good soldier he says i will die at my post if he does not shift a post let me die there i will survive the mockery i will survive the ridicule i don't have to be under pressure to explain things to people no it's not like this actually it's, it's, it's god that told me no. you will never believe him until you encounter him you will never believe him until you encounter him you will never believe him until you encounter him koinonia please hear me faith the foundation of faith is an encounter with god an experience that furnishes the reality of him there are real mountains you will face you will face all kinds of mountains even the most trusted people in your life cannot take his place a time will come you will have to stand alone and say lord jesus i trust you i trust you though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before and this is the song we'll be singing forever Holy surrounded by many who have crossed that river before and this is the song we'll be singing we'll be forever singing forever I'll tell you just go home because I'm wasting your time oh but there is a name John said there is one mightier than I mightier there is a government that backs what you see happening and tonight we want to let every devil in hell know that we arrived December and we must finish strong hallelujah you're going to rise up and we'll pray just for five minutes and in that prayer you're going to say Lord visit me I will clap for my neighbor but after I receive my own whatever you came here with tonight lift your voice and begin to pray no matter how impossible it is take your eyes take your eyes please take your eyes away from any impossibility Yes, Lord, you are able. Yes, Lord, you are able. Pray. Say, Lord, that cancer will go. That barrenness will go. Believe the Lord. Believe the Lord. Refuse to go back the same. 
some of us came from end to end of this nation you can't travel all the way in the air on the road and just come and enjoy and go no no tell yourself i'm coming to get something hallelujah 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 now please listen i want to encourage us especially for those of us who are sick it's important to respond to the prophetic word do what you cannot do and please when you there will be all kinds of breakthroughs all kinds not just healings hallelujah even those who will be delivered don't you think you are just falling for nothing something will happen to you hallelujah many of us even as the meeting is going we're going to be receiving words from our loved ones that things are happening things are changing hallelujah don't be afraid and don't be ashamed this is the last service we really have to be very fast i'm saying this because we may not have all the time again hallelujah praise the lord are you ready for what god will do in your life you do not want to know the amount of prayer and fasting and travail that goes into these meetings don't let these suits deceive you hallelujah father glorify yourself tonight let no man let no man take the glory tonight i ask you your people are in pains your people are in tears their family members are dying they are being eaten up by diseases and sicknesses and Lord, if you do not step in tonight, there is nothing we can do. Hmm. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Blessing 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 there is a lady by the name blessing I'm hearing the lord is ministering to me blessing please if i just call your case let's just hurry up very quickly so that we save time blessing shall come to thee O Israel. Jesus. Come. I need to pray for you. Look at me. Where's your mother? We need to pray for her. That that which the devil purpose will not come to pass. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Hallelujah. Father, step in into the mother's life and change things right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let everything that is not of God be changed right now in the name of Jesus. Lay your hands on your stomach and I pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. I rebuke that spirit. Out now! 
shall come to thee, O Israel. Hallelujah. My dear, it's you. You must let her go in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let every infirmity, darkness, let this, let it leave her right now in the name of Jesus Christ. All the other people, God bless you in Jesus' name. We have to rush. Praise God. I believe in casting out devils. No advancement, no technology will confuse us. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Because at the root of many people's situations, even what you think is sickness, the power of God is present. Bring them out, that devil of darkness. Listen, Satan comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But he says, I am come that ye may have life. Hallelujah. The Bible says, upon Mount Zion, certain things will happen. He said there will be holiness. And then there will be deliverance. And after that, the way will be cleared and the sons of Jacob will now possess their possessions. Hallelujah. Praise God. And the devil is going to bow tonight. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every Sing it once from your heart. One more time from the place of your heart. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Hallelujah. I don't need to begin to explain myself again but I told you causes exist yokes exist there are people carrying them today who have been deceived that nothing is going nothing is wrong but on account of what Christ has done our job tonight is to stamp it by the power of the Holy Ghost so right now we are going to set on fire everything that has not been planted by God hallelujah I want you to get ready because the Bible says surely there is an end it says for surely there is an end if it had a beginning it has an end rise up on your feet everyone Hush. hallelujah praise the Lord see the power of God will shake many of us inside and outside to the foundations until everything that does not look like him leave. Are you getting me? There is, there is fire in this place, especially for those outside. We are going to count three and we will shout that name, Jesus. I want you to get ready. At the shout of that name, not just for you, hallelujah, not just for you alone but for your loved ones whatever will not let you go this night must go for you hallelujah are you ready now thank you jesus christ see i'm telling you i see a lot of oppression especially outside a lot of oppression this is why god has sent us bible says he gave them authority he gave them power 
said through who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness hallelujah lift your hands everybody at the count of three i want you to shout listen these are the things that limit people these are the things that limit destiny and tonight god has brought us so that we can experience his power hallelujah there's fire in this place at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus inside and outside the overflow here and the other one there shout jesus at the count of three and at the mention of that name let's see the power that will stand hallelujah tonight is your night of liberty bring them out please ushers be sensitive hallelujah are you ready now thank you jesus let your power move across this place inside and outside i confront gates and doors and altars and yokes and everything that is not of god the presence of god is here and in the mighty name of jesus it will bow are you ready now one two three let god's people go 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 every foul devil every wicked spirit inside and outside come out now come out now come out now let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let God's people go now. Are you ready to shout one more time? Are you ready to shout one more time? At the count of three, shout that name, Jesus. One, two, three. E proto copo soto, ma copa scure, recos coba, empres copa ricata, secate cariaba, ma capos coprecate, recotosia, every power, every altar of darkness, I set on fire outside. Let the fire of God move outside. Let the fire of God move outside. Let the fire of God move outside. We dethrone principalities. We command an exodus. We command liberty. Let God's people go by the power of the blood. By the power of the blood. Hallelujah. 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 Now we are going to pray. Listen. This one is not just you right now, but your family members. Hallelujah. Many of you, what will happen to you now will be the power of God challenging the things that camouflage themselves in your family. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? Don't tell me there's nothing going wrong. Don't let the devil confuse you, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name again. There are a lot of people outside, especially from this first overflow. A lot of people outside. Listen, if you love your family members, I'd like you to stand. Stand for them. This is the root problem. 
that disguises itself it it may have different names he said the enemy has done this don't let technology confuse you upon mount zion there shall be deliverance are you ready now lift your hands please jesus thank you my god there will be a mighty wave of the spirit all you need to do for me is to clash the cymbal are you ready now at the count of three with all your heart my god let your power move representing families with dethroned yokes in the name of jesus one two three Hoprokotos. families be free families be free I challenge altars, yokes, Koproskopa, tying down families, tying down families. I command, lose them now, lose them now. Every enchantment, every divination. Now, be loose, be loose by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be loose. Go proskopaka, emretokote, rekeskoba, marekotosota, ekretoskoba Maria, mamretoskoposko, emretekeleba ba 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 ba. Chains be broken. Chains. I come with an apostolic anointing. Chains be broken. Chains be open. I invoke the power of a higher priesthood from the realm of the spirit. Go prosperous. For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is. Heal the sick. Cast out devils. Now every foul spirit afflicting these people at the count of three time up you must go one two three go 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 on your mind set go 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 now go 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 don't waste that time go out of them and go now there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Bring her, don't worry, Osha. In the name of Jesus. Bring her. To break every chain. 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 To break every chain. To break every chain. To break every chain. Just bring her here. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Bring her. Don't waste.
waste our time. Go. Leave her. Leave her. Go. Now. Help. That's the end. Go. We don't have all of that time to waste. We have to do a lot of things. Hallelujah. Listen. There are two people outside. Ushers, I want you to help them so they don't injure themselves. The power of God will pick them and bring them inside. Right now. It will happen right now. Two people outside. Please just guide them so they don't injure themselves. Right now. Let the angel that confirms the word of the Lord right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Two people outside. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains falling. I give the chains falling. falling. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. Hallelujah. You had a dream. Please listen to me. You had a dream. And the snake, a snake beat you on your left leg. A dream. It was in a dream. But it was very real. Please, who is that person? Please, let's save them. Come out quickly. You're a guy. Come out quickly. You're a guy. Let's hurry up. If you're still thinking about it, go back to your seat. Snake beat you on your left leg. I give the chains falling. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now. There is a lady here. Please listen. There is a lady here. You hear voices and they speak to you. This has happened for a long time. I mean real voices. Evil voices I mean. Now not the voice of the spirit. In fact it's one of the things that has bothered you. You've shared it with a friend. Please who is that very quickly. Very quickly come very quickly. I'm just flowing by the spirit right now. I give the chains falling, falling. I give the chains falling. Lump in the left breast has just been healed. Lump in the left breast. The Lord is healing someone. Please check yourself. We'll take some testimonies. Lump in the left breast just got healed right now. Hallelujah. Brother, hold my hands. Whatever has not been planted by God leaves you now. Look at me. Look at me. Your spiritual life. You see, the Bible says, He that breaks the hedge, the serpent will strike. Your spiritual life must be on fire. I give the chains. Please hold my hands. Let her go now. Thou devil. Come out. I see you in the spirit. Out. I give the chains falling. Look at me, my dear. Jesus will set you free. Okay? You believe that? Hold my hands. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let her be free right now from those demonic voices. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Lay your hands on your stomach. We cancel that report. You will never hear any report of fibroid or growth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come, my dear. Look at me. You love Jesus with all your heart. You want to be very serious with him because this is what the Lord is asking. It's not just the issue of healing and miracle. You see, listen, God is not a magician. It's not somebody you just run to, collect miracle and run and go back to do your life. My dear, the lady standing behind the two ladies with yellow, lift your hands. You, just lift your hands and look at me. How dare you defy the presence of God? 
how dare you defy the presence of God mm. for he will give us the eyes of eagles now in the name of Jesus at the count of three you are going right now for I've seen you in the spirit one two three out of her right now go 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 I see the chains falling yeah. I see the chains falling hallelujah God bless you we have a lot to do my brother you love the Lord with all your heart I want you to know that when you stay in his presence it melts away every darkness you must believe this hallelujah you must believe this Jesus said Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself when he finds himself in you it becomes a doorway hallelujah the Bible says come out from among them and be ye separate and touch not your unclean thing I set you free in the name of Jesus I set you free in the name of Jesus please speak set you free now I want to pray for people with peptic ulcer peptic ulcer please peptic ulcer just come out quickly file out here quickly please let's save time our brother is wedding tomorrow and we don't want to take too much of their time while they are coming out let's appreciate our soon-to-be group <laughs> hallelujah our brother Jimmy and his wonderful wife to be hope wave your hands hallelujah tomorrow by this time they'll be happily married so we really don't have much time peptic ulcer please come out quickly break every chain we're going to minister to everyone just please i hope we all have a sir please lift your hands you yes just lift it high look at me that devil right now I command to leave you just look at me just look at me right now take your hands off his life right now right now come out of him right now I hear the chains falling look at me brothers and sisters please look at me this is not magic we are not playing games this is business tonight right you have a role to play your role is to believe god forget about me are you following me now hi good to see you come she used to hold my bible those days come now no she used to hold light for me remember first and second generation here night third generation the uh, jebo people they would know hallelujah these were the ladies that went for crusade those days we were broke but we had God so we knew it was just a matter of time hallelujah and then they used to climb the trees to plug firewood but now most of our ladies oh the stove is not good I want microwave I'm just joking but I'm serious <laughs> hallelujah praise the Lord I'm going to pray for you that devil is a liar hallelujah that devil is a liar so I'll start with you can I pray for you Please make sure you have your request. I'm so glad we have a lot of men of God here. I saw Prophet Bab celebrate him. God bless you, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. Manasseh in the house, celebrate him all the way from Abuja. We're going to do a lot of that, but Pastor Williams is here. Hallelujah. The pastor house on the rock, Kano is here. God bless you, sir. Thank you. We love you. We appreciate you. Jake's all the way from Abuja. Bishop is here. Good to be married. He's just smiling. He has been smiling. Hallelujah. Okay, I see Suleiman. Suleiman is here. And we're happy to have Kenny back too. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right. Let's, let's deal with the issues we have now. Praise God. Please, while you're standing there, I want you to be praying. Even as we minister to these people, the Lord will heal you now in Jesus' name. It will be very fast because we have a lot of cases to deal with. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ah. There is something the Lord is showing me. There is someone is already becoming for you like madness. Madness. Sometimes you start talking or doing things as if you're not 
in your right mind. Please, if you're here or somebody brought him, immediately we finish, just bring the person out. It's, it's like madness. Hallelujah. It's like madness. That devil is a liar. Hallelujah. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit gentle touch is flowing. The Holy Spirit and to touch is blowing Jesus. We believe, we believe Jesus. There is healing in your sick person this is a time to minister to them hallelujah i won't be doing this alone i'm glad we have um a lot of hands and we're going to do that please carry him if you, if you can't get up just take him and let him lie down somewhere there so that we can have space come just turn ha. you won't be mad in jesus name your head let him go now 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 all right so you came with someone sick please come out quickly please if you came with children if you came with children don't leave them alone just come out with them so that we can minister to them Quickly, please, bring them out. Worship team, you're going to lead us. And um, let's have all of them. Ushers, coordinate them. Hold on, what's wrong with her? Let me just start with her quickly. What's the issue? Hold on. While they come, please hurry up. If you came here for healing, just come and line up quickly. What's her issue? Let me just pray for her. I'm very touched seeing her. Who brought her? She came on her own. Did she tell you she's sick? What's wrong? Hepatitis. That's, that's what is wrong with her now. Or she just fell down. Hold my hands. Mm, 
I bring you life. The power of the kingdom I represent. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are not hepatitis. You are a spirit. You won't confuse us. Go. Now. Out of her. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let her rise up whole. Just let, let, just let leave her down. She will rise up whole. Hallelujah. Those of us standing here, I need you to know that there are two great spiritual weapons that are responsible for the release of God's healing. Please listen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Healing comes from the body of Jesus. Are you listening to me? Healing comes from the body of Jesus. But in scripture, there have been two categories of scenarios that compel the healing power of God. Number one, when people acknowledge the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Second, when they cried for mercy. God cannot hear mercy and not act. Blind Bartemius said, have mercy on me. The Bible says it is only for the Lord's mercy. Otherwise, it would have been consumed. He said, I will have mercy. Even favor can happen only when mercy is released. Hallelujah. He said, thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. The goal is not mercy. The goal is favor. But without mercy, the favor of God cannot show up. Mercy is not for sinners. It's the character of God that compels his compassion. Hallelujah. It has nothing to do with getting born again. Praise the Lord. Look at these children. Only God knows what is wrong. See my friend with beer, beer cap. Come. Let's start with you. You and your brother. <laughs> Look at them. Turn around. Let's see you wonderful children with their beer caps. You must be healed. In Jesus name. Alright. So I'll invite the men of God. Jakes, Bishop, Manasseh, Ejimi. How about healing the sick and casting out devils on your wedding eve? That's right. Rather than drinking beer and receiving a yoke that you cannot manage. Praise the Lord. Prophet, sir. Please, we're going to minister to them. Just, just direct them. It really doesn't matter who prays for you. Don't just say you must be. No, don't. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Worship team, are you ready? So let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. We will do this very fast. Okay, I'll pray for them. Go ahead. God is a miracle worker. God is a glorious God. Out of her. God is go, go, go. a miracle worker. God is a glorious God. Larry. 
Check yourself. Check yourself. A lot of things are happening. Please stand up, everybody. Goodness. Hallelujah. Now, I'm seeing somebody. You're having a burning sensation. It comes very strongly, especially in the night. Like your half right side. Almost the whole of your half right side. Burning sensation from your chest region down sometimes to your leg please wish that person come out quickly come out quickly come out quickly and then the lord is showing me someone in fact a number of people you are up to five hallelujah you feel something moving in your body this has happened recurrently sometimes it's so much you even have to turn you feel it literally moving please come out quickly 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 please let's save time That devil must go. You're the one feeling this heat. I'll pray for you right now. Hold my hands. I rebuke stroke. Ah, wow. I rebuke stroke in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command it to leave you once and for all in the name of Jesus Christ. Moving objects, it will go right now. You, okay, hold my hands. Look at me. I set you free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed now in Jesus' name. I'm going to pray for you now. Everything that is not of God must bow. The Bible says your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. It says glorify God in your body. Hallelujah. Daddy, 
What's, who brought him? He came by himself. What's the issue, sir? Moving object of my body. Moving object. You can imagine a man like this and the devil just comes, that wicked devil. Daddy, the Lord Jesus sets you free. Please hold my hands. This is the spirit of death. This is not moving object. I am the resurrection and the life, Jesus says. So we bring you life from the kingdom that we represent. Satan, take your hands off his body. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Let your health and vitality be restored in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. We may not have time to minister to you one by one. Just hold your hands together and I'll pray for you. All those in this category. So I can just use one person as a point of contact. Hallelujah. What happened to you? You had what? An accident. When? And you injured yourself. What did the doctor say happened to you? Okay, and they treated it for your healing as well. The Lord will accelerate everything. That devil is a liar. Hmm? Thank you, Jesus. Father, I use my brother as a point of contact to all of these people. Right now, every devil of darkness that parades itself as moving objects in their body, I command you now in the name of Jesus Christ, off you go this moment. Right now, in the name of Jesus, set God's people free. I command that, that movement stops in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, the movement stops. You will never have it again because your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. It belongs to the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Please go back to your seat very quickly. I'm seeing a woman. I'm seeing a woman having a terminal disease. This is what the Lord is showing me. I'm seeing a woman having a terminal disease. I believe is the mother of somebody here. Um, where? Where is she? She's at home. You stood in for her. You believe Jesus will heal her. She will be healed in Jesus' name. Can I use you as a point of contact? Lift your hands. Something's moving, changing. Exactly. It's my head. And since that time, all Can you hear her? Sound help us. Huh? I have an attack in the night. They attack me in, the, in my head. Since that time, all over my body, I, have, uh, I used to be sick all the time. How long has this been? It's 20... Since 1988. 1988? That's how wicked Satan can be. Some of you were not born when the devil has been oppressing you. He's an old man. Satan is not young. That old serpent story is a very old story. Praise the Lord. The Bible called him a murderer. Who did he murder? Hallelujah. Mommy, look at me. What could you not do before? What can you not do now? Sometimes that thing hook me like Four to five to six months, I can't get up and do anything. So since last year, throughout, since November last year, till 
July this year. I am not been feeling fine. I feel really. If sick. you're healed now, will you know? Yes, sir. Okay, watch your miracle happen to you right now. Okay? Watch it happen. Don't close your eyes. Open your eyes so that you enjoy the miracle as it happens. Praise the Lord. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. God isn't done with her yet. Heal her mother, Lord. Mommy, hold my hands. Say after me, Jesus. Jesus. I believe in you. I believe in you. Thank you for healing me. For healing me. Father, thank you. Thank Let your power set mommy free. Now, that wicked spirit that oppresses her, go. Your time is up. You are a spirit. And tonight you bow. The life of God is entering your body, mommy. That's what you're feeling. What do you feel happening to you now? Something is leaving you. Yes. Huh? Yes, my body. All my body is suffering. Is what? All my body is suffering. It's, right it's shivering. Yes. Your whole, that's the power of God. It's the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I set her free right now, Lord. Let the chains be broken now. Every power go from 1988 till now. The Lord rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now. Mama, look at me. Um, it's not good to ask you how old you are, but let's do something. All right? Something that can make you tired and let's see what happens. How do you feel in your body? Go ahead. Jump. Do what you couldn't do. <laughs> Would you do this before? How do you feel in your body right now? I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay right now. Give Jesus a praise. Do what you couldn't do, Mama. Put a song for Mama to dance. Look at, look at how she came. Come on now, worship team. Mama, you are going to dance to the shame of the devil. Look at, can you see her face now? Look at the woman that just came. A few I minutes right now. Bye. Mama dance. God bless you, Mama. You are healed. Go back healed and enjoy yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ear problem. There's someone you came here with ear problem. You came here with ear problem. I'm seeing someone with ear problem. What, what was the issue? Oh, we have to save time. We have to save time. So, I do have ear problem. What does that mean? You don't hear very well with this? Yes, and sometimes like water. Which one do you hear well with? This one. Okay, close that one. Close both of them. Just look at me. Be open now. You sense fire moving along that ear. That's the power of God. Let it be open right now. I'm feeling what you're feeling. That's why I know that that's what is happening to you. The power of God is carrying out his surgery on that ear. Look at, look at. Can you see the power of God? Look at, look at what is happening. You see what is happening on that ear? Look at what is happening on that ear. Look at what is, is opening. Look at what is happening on that ear. That's the ear that is not working well. That's the power of God setting her free. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Look at, look at this. This is the, I'm not doing anything at all. I'm not doing anything. For those who don't believe these things, you know this lady. Look at, look at what is happening. Thank you, Jesus. Let her be free. Perfect freedom. Don't worry. Just let her. God is walking. Seventeen seconds, and you are healed.
exactly close that ear Jesus, a big, 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 big shout of praise. You are perfected forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Which of them? Which of them? Lay your hands on all the ones that have a problem. Mama, is your eyes? Ah, Mama, okay, no problem. No problem, she, please, just, just leave her. You people don't know what she has gone through. Your eyes, what's wrong with you? Sometimes so I, well, okay, I can't see between the three from my front. Like what can you not okay, what can you see now? I'm seeing I'm seeing but I didn't see well. You are not seeing this thing very well now. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll pray for you. <laughs> she had faith. She said, Ah, if they won't call my case, let me call it by myself. Let's hurry up. Hallelujah. How long has it been? For more than seven years. More than seven years. I can't hear with this ear. Ah, that devil is a liar. Yeah. Huh? Put your hands on both of your ears. You too? What's your own? My mom says when I was five, water just keeps on coming out. And water comes, comes out. Yes. That devil is a liar. Huh? Your ear is not a river. The Bible says out of your belly, not your ear. So that's anti scriptural. Put your hands there right now. Put your hands, both of your ears. Please, I want you to expect the power of God to touch you. Lord, we give you the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. That devil of deafness, I curse you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I bring you life. I bring you the power of the kingdom that we represent. And that wicked spirit. You see the same thing happening to her? Are you seeing the same thing? This is not fake. Are you seeing the same thing now? Two different people, same operation of the spirit. Look at, look at it. Mm. See her face, she's even surprised seeing her hand shaking. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be perfection in this year. Yeah, I speak to you. Be open. Just take your hand away. You'll see the power of God going through your body. Which one couldn't you hear with? Close the one you can hear with. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Peace. Come on, give Jesus a big clap. She doesn't hear at all. At all with that ear. Jesus. How about you? Which of the ears? Close the one that is good. Moses, Joshua, Ruth, Jesus, I'm free. Come on, give Jesus a big, 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 big clap of praise. My sister, it goes forever. Do you believe this? You're happy about what God has done. It has gone forever. Mama, Let's attend to you now. You came out because you believe in Jesus. I'm going to pray for your eyes. And your eyes will be open. Jesus, Son of God. I believe in you. Perfect, Mama's eye, oh God. Cataract. Cataract. That's what is wrong with you. Cataract. That's the name of the sickness. I believe in you. I believe in you. 
for your power and for your glory. Now, is there any improvement? Is there any improvement? Yes. What can you see? Hold on. Hold on, please. What can you see now? I see them. You are seeing them now. No. Could you see them very well before? You could not see them at all. Yes. Try to tell me the color of the tie that man is wearing. Just this tie. Yes. This. Yes. Red. What of what they are wearing? Look. You couldn't see them before. Come on, give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Mama, look at that time. What is the time? Can you see it? Eight, nine. No, it's, it's not nine yet. Don't worry, just approximate her. How can I help this one? I hope I'm doing the right thing. Okay. okay. How many people are standing there? Yeah. How many gentlemen are standing? Two. 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 What color of suit is the other one wearing? The dark one. The black one. Right? Yes. This one, like color, like a or something. But the other one is what color? Black. Black. Come on, give God praise. The Lord perfects your eyes, mama. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, it's your mother. You are using glasses. Where are they? Okay. What can you not see now? People that are standing up far off there. And then in class, I can't see the board. I can't see what is okay. so let's, let's just hurry up. What's, what's it for here? You are using glasses too. And you are tired. Okay. So. Okay. So we're going to pray for you. Please, let's. You don't know how terrible the sickness is until uh, it comes on you, but it won't come on you. We have a few minutes, guys, and we're done. We have to hurry up. Um, there's a there's a part of a prophecy where I speak over your life. Can we begin to collect the prayer requests so that we kill two birds with one stone? Please, your prayer request very quickly. If you do not have a prayer request, please write. It's not a religious ritual at all. God gave us an instruction. The Bible says how that Hezekiah went to the temple and dropped the threat before the Lord and said, Lord, behold, your threatenings. So I'll pray for you. What are you all here for? Eye problem. My dad. My Your dad has eye problem. My grandmother has eye Your dad too has eye problem. My grandmother. My grandmother. Your grandmother. Ah, how old is she? I don't know. No, 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 but the Bible talks about Joshua who was old. Okay, hold your hands together, please. Let's save time. You can begin to submit your request, please. Inside and outside, hold your hands. No, no, just these two. Just two of you, just two of you. Let me pray for them. Jesus, heal their parents, heal all the people who are sick right now. Let the power of God cause healing and perfection in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. How about you? Eye problem? Lay your hands on your eyes. You too, lay your hands. You too, lay your hands. All of you, all of you with high problem. Ah, you play drums and you're blind. Uh, oh, your mom, okay. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay. Now we're having more people just coming to say I'm tired. What do we do now? All right, eye problem. Both out here and wherever you are. Um, okay. Just lay your hands on your eyes and I'll pray for you. Please, we are not playing games. Don't think we are faking it. We are very, very serious. Very serious. Very serious. Thank you, Jesus. Please write your requests. Write your request. This is December. Whatever it is that you are trusting God to do for you. Ha! The power of God is moving already. It's touching more than the eyes. It's not just eyes. 
Satan, go! Go! Right now. Let that I thing live by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. I touch your eyes. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. Be healed. Please check yourselves. You can go back to your seats and check yourselves. Check yourselves. God bless you. Sweet out your eyes. As young as you are, lay your hands. Perfection, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Perfection for Gladys. Please, as you go back, check yourself. Hallelujah. Let's have the requests. There's someone that was diagnosed of a heart problem. You have a heart problem. I must attend to you. Heart problem. Please, heart problem. I want to pray for you now. This thing is eating you up. It's a heart problem. It's causing weakness in your body. You can't even move far. You begin to... Who is the person? You are the one with a heart problem? What did they say is wrong? You are not the only one. The person I'm seeing is very lean. This thing is eating you. Blood is not pumping well in your body. And it's causing weakness of your body. What's wrong? I... Just go straight to the point. What is what? What did they say? What did the I doctor? was told my heart was too large for too much stress. Your heart is too large for too much stress. For what? Too much stress. What does that mean? Doctors, doctors. Okay. Your heart is too large for too much stress. Oh, from too much stress. Ah, stress. Footballer, we are going to pray for you here. You are going abroad. You are going abroad. You will come back and testify. I saw a plane just pass over his head. You are going abroad. He's a footballer. He's going to be a very professional footballer. Father, empower his feet. Bless him. Look at me. Don't forget about God. Hmm? Money can change people and money can destroy. Don't forget about God. You are an ambassador. He's sending you there. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bless you. Heart problem? Ah. ah. What did I pray for now? Okay. Lay your hands on your chest. Let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Go! Right now. Be healed from the heart problem. Brother, look at me. Lay your heart on your chest to return back to its normal size right now. Huh? There is no reason for you to be stressed. Huh? If you die today, the world will still continue. Please don't let the devil cheat you. There is no reason. The Bible says, cast your cares. This world has too much worries that can kill you if you let it happen. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. Heart, return to your normal position. What did they say is wrong with you? It's mad. Palpitation. They called it hypothetical. Hypertrophic uh, myocardia or something. Hypertrophic myocardia. I don't. Uh, what does it do? What does it do to you? It doesn't That's pump. Uh, my heart doesn't. Yes, pump the Lord showed me. He's not pumping blood in your body, so and it makes you it. weak. And huh? I bring out foam, foam from my mouth. You bring out foam sometimes. Yeah. I need to pray for you. I'm seeing a wound inside you. Huh? You feel pain around your chest. This is a wound, huh? and the wound is rotting. We need to pray for you. This is what is happening. Whatever the name is, I don't want to know. All I know is that this is the devil. Machines cannot detect spirits. Hallelujah. Lay your hands. My brother, look at me. Look at me. If this meeting is just for only you, I want you to be healed. Huh? You believe it? How long has this been? Two months now. Two months. Yeah. They diagnose you with this. Yeah. Lay your hands. Is that what is responsible for your weight loss? Yes. Huh? Yeah. You started losing weight. Yes, sir. Jesus. This is why you put this meeting. Whatever your name is, leave this body now. Heart be restored. You feel the fire of God moving around your chest. That's God. 
I command that wound to close now. Creatively close up this moment. Hmm, God is doing a work. I command your weight to return. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will testify. You return here with your testimony. How about your heart problem? I feel pain. You feel pain? When I want to eat. I can't even eat. You feel pain? When you wake up in the morning, if you lie down on this side of the chest, it pains you. It's not heart problem. No. Listen now. Let me talk to you. Huh? Do you know what the issue is? What did the doctors tell you? Have you gone to the hospital? Yes. You have not even gone. I want to tell you the problem. It's not heart problem. Huh? I'm seeing a name, bronchitis. Mm. This is not heart problem. Huh? Hold your hand. This is as a result of cold. And it's, it's, it's affecting you. Huh? You think it's heart because it's at that point. It's not heart. Just lay your hand. You'll be healed. Jesus. Go! Be healed right now. Had what? Hot, hot. Vagina. He told me. That's, that's, that's the, what he told your heart. Yes. It's affecting your heart. When I can I see you. You are even looking weak as you're standing right now. You believe Jesus will heal you? Say after me, Jesus. Jesus. I thank you for the healing. For the healing. Lord, let your power flow. This lady, perfect her now. Let her go. A wicked spirit. Release her right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Something is happening to you. Something is lifting from your chest. See, see the healing? This is this is a spirit leaving her literally. Release her right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I change that medical condition. I plead the blood, the mercy of Jesus breaks every legal access. Mm. I hear the chains falling. With a shout, you will be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go. With a shout, you will be free. on our chest my dear with a shout you will be free with a shout you will be free thank you Jesus with a shout you will be free perfect our Lord in the name of Jesus she's free hallelujah praise the Lord we're going to pray on these requests. Hallelujah. Before we do that, come. Oh, he's gone. He's gone with his wife. Ah, okay, they have to go and rest. Praise the Lord. I wanted us to pray for them. We're going to pray on these requests right now. Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Sass. Please, can we just come as many men of God that can agree? Please. I believe in the corporate anointing. I believe in the grace of God. Please, I'd like you to pray. Stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues. Stretch your hands and pray in tongues. Shakata ba 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 ba. Rakata ba kata prakata kata bela de bosh. Rakata prakata foko sopro toko topa la da ba kata ba kata. Come on, pray, pray. Father, we thank you. Sakata kata prakata bela da 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 bosh. Lete krete kasa topo koto prakata bela da ba. Mambra taka pros. Perfection, O God. Reto soto proto koto pakate, ente te preto soto no koto prakate, rento so proto so prega da bara bara bos, maka prakata bara bara maka da prega da bara bara bos, entri so so poko to prega da bara bos. Father, let there be miracles, testimonies. We change this prayer request. Reto soto no koto, may they become testimonies. In the name of Jesus, may they become testimonies. May they become testimonies. May they become testimonies. Change impossible situations. In the name of Jesus, 
change impossible situations by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, I pray. Let your word in Job 16 18 be established. O art, do not cover our blood. Let our cries not find a resting place. Let every cry in the form of prayer, petition, not find a resting place until heaven hears and come true. In the name of Yeshua Amashir, we bind the powers of hell. We release. We receive answers tonight by your spirit in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Three to skip area in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now I want to pray and speak over your life. Healing miracle is just one of the many reasons. There are very few people. The fraction of those who are really sick are very few compared to those who are coming trusting God for other areas. Finance, breakthrough, marriage hallelujah i want to pray and break the power of marital delay right now please lift your hands hmm. thank you jesus the power of marital delay It is the will of God for you to get married. Father, I pray. Some of you, it will be for you and your family members. That power of darkness over marriages. Right now at the count of three, I command the power. Because I'm seeing a lot of families tied down. Wherever you are, you're standing in for yourself and your family members. In the mighty name of Jesus, at the count of three, let the power of God move in this place and outside and break men free to enter their marital destinies, no matter how long it is. You're ready now, want to shout that name at the count of three. One, two, three. Break, 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 break. Break, break every spell of marital delay. I break it now in the name of Jesus. Break, 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 break. Go, 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 go. Break, break in the mighty name of Jesus. Break every yoke of marital delay. Break. Break, break, break. We release supernatural marriages. Go to Pariata. Seketeka. Sekele Kotobakata Labakaya. Break. Every curse, every yoke. We apply the blood. By the mystery of the blood. Yet one last plague shall I bring upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt. After that, he will let you go. We release you into your marital destinies. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh yeah, they are around. Okay, please let them come. They can come. We want to pray for them. Those of you trusting God for jobs, please lift your hands. I want you to believe this. While we will pray for them shortly, but let's pray for jobs. Lift your hands. 
I'm going to just shout Jesus once and the power of God will locate people there will be mighty testimonies between now and the next miracle service lift your hands promotion comes neither from the east nor the west I don't care who you know or who you don't know we are ambassadors and we legislate on behalf of the parliament of heaven it is within our power to bind and lose he said for i am a man under authority and i say unto one go and he goeth right now in the mighty name of jesus i'm going to shout the name right now jesus let there be jobs whatever power is holding people down from jobs in the name of jesus by the favor of god i command miracle jobs in the name of jesus hallelujah now stretch your hands towards a jimmy we're still praying a jimmy and hope a jimmy was one of our ministers here hope was the head of department one time of the welfare it's good to serve the lord when you serve the lord he will bless you that's what the bible says stretch your hands Tomorrow there'll be a wedding right here. Please, you are invited. It's compulsory for the whole Koinonia family. We must come around and back them and rejoice. The time is 10 on the dot. The reception is at Blue Roof. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands. Father, bless them. Bless them. Bless them. We bless you with the blessings of the heavens. We bless you with the blessings of the house. We bless you with the blessings of fruitfulness. May you find favor with God. May you find favor with men. Your home is built upon love. Your home is built upon wisdom. Your home is built upon understanding and knowledge. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will raise godly children who you will train in the fear of the Lord. And your seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the righteous will be blessed. Wealth and riches will be in your house in the name of jesus christ we bless you for serving the body of christ we bless you for serving this house may the lord honor you may the lord honor you may your harvest come speedily we connect you with a hundredfold anointing may you see it speedily we command men to help you we command men to bless you and uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped may you get the help of god in your life in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please stand up sir thank you let me give you a big hug it's good to be married all your cake was not for nothing hallelujah god bless you thank you so tomorrow we're here hallelujah now lift your hands i want to prophesy thank you jesus please believe it for me this is the best part of the miracle service because this is where we allow the creative power that is in the word of god to find expression inside and outside please please beautiful you are wonderful you've been you are glorious Faithful in all your ways, my help and my reward. You are glorious, my God. Beautiful you are, wonderful you are. You are glorious, you are glorious. Faithful in all your ways, faithful in all my your help ways. And my your hands i command every door that has been closed over your destiny i prophesy to it right now be open in the name of jesus be open in the name of jesus be open in the name of jesus
because thou hast lovest righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows I prophesy upon your life rise and be distinguished in the name of Jesus rise and be distinguished in the name of Jesus hallelujah I command every dead prayer life in this place every dead prayer altar in this place come alive now in the name of Jesus come alive now in the name of Jesus come alive now come alive now in the name of Jesus hallelujah the Bible says they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their hand help them but because you love them and you showed favor towards them I want to pray in the name of Jesus right where you are standing may the favor of God mantle you in the name of Jesus carry the favor of God in the name of Jesus manifest the favor of God in the name of Jesus hallelujah the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon I pray in the name of Jesus I command wine pressers I command bakers all those who will recommend you to your place of honor I call them into your life in the name of Jesus I call them into your life in the name of Jesus and David said is there any man of the house of Saul left that I may show him kindness and the Bible says they brought a cripple called Mephibosheth I pray no matter what your limitations are may God send people who will recommend you and honor you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ thou shalt not be afraid of the arrow that flyeth by day nor the noisome pestilence it says they shall bear thee up on their wings so that you will not dash your feet against a stone it says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side but none shall harm you with your eyes shall you watch and see the reward of the wicked i command that you are preserved right now you have no covenant with death you are preserved in the name of jesus Bible says and thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walk ye in it and you will find rest for your souls I command that that direction you need for the next level of your life for the next level of your career in the mighty name of Jesus may you hear the voice of the Spirit may it be clear unto you may it be clear unto you I open ears and I open eyes to hear and see and comprehend that which the Holy Ghost wants for you in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah the Bible says the Queen of Sheba came and she brought gifts of gold and different kinds of gifts to come and hear the wisdom of Solomon and the Bible says when she had the wisdom of Solomon she said that she did not even hear a half I pray that God will give you a dimension of wisdom that will compel kings to come and hear the wisdom of the spirit in your life receive that dimension of wisdom in the name of Jesus the Bible says does any man lack wisdom let him ask of God who give it unto men liberally let that dimension of wisdom come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ it says by me kings reign and princes decree justice I command that wisdom begins to function in your life from today I pray that any plague of death over your life he said let there be a mark of the blood upon the lintel 
and that when the angel of death comes when he sees the blood he will pass by i declare that there is a mark of the blood that marks you as touch not even as you move around during this yuletide season i command death is far from your life in the name of jesus christ for god has not given you the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind whatever puts fear in your life i want you to know that your god is mighty and able and let that spirit of fear leave you now in the name of jesus now in the name of jesus i declare whatever your family members have been praying and trusting god for before this year runs out in the mighty name of jesus listen brothers and sisters it does not take time it only takes god it doesn't take time the prophet said by this time tomorrow he was not revealing he was creating he wasn't revealing what will happen tomorrow anyway the prophetic word created that scenario in the name of jesus everything that is missing that your loved ones are trusting god for by the creative power of god's word we create breakthroughs in the name of jesus every cause of lack and poverty and financial hardship in this place in the mighty name of jesus christ i decree and declare lord your people are givers your people are addicted to advancing the kingdom therefore i curse the spirit of poverty in the name of jesus christ i curse the spirit of poverty in the name of jesus christ For God gave it unto a man that is good in his sight, wisdom and blessings and peace. But to the unbeliever, he gives to heap and to travail that he will bring to him that fears God. May that be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. May that be your testimony in the name of Jesus. I declare that your business is blessed. I declare that the works of your hands are blessed. I declare that your ministry is blessed. I declare that your family is blessed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ be distinguished and be blessed you will go back home as a savior go and heal the sick go and cast out devils go and raise the dead go and communicate the mysteries of the kingdom I declare that the secrets of the spirit are given unto you and these secrets will grant you power with God and power with men in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says, and immediately his fame went abroad. The Bible says, when he entered the city, it was noised. It didn't tell us those who publicized it. I pray that all those who need to take word about that which God has put in your life that can bless men, I compel them to noise it abroad. In the name of Jesus Christ, may it be known that you are a deliverer. May it be known that you are a man and a woman of wisdom may it be known that you can solve problems all those who have been designed to honor the gift of god in your life to recognize to honor it i pray that god will bring them your way in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus and i pray that there be a hunger for the things of the spirit I plant a hunger in your spirit a dimension of hunger for the word hunger for the presence of God beyond your imagination in the name of Jesus Christ everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you I prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you one more time i prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen 
I pray that before this year runs out, may my God give you a sevenfold restoration. You can choose not to believe it, you will not go to hell. But I prophesy again to you that before this year runs out, may my God give you a sevenfold restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ, doors of opportunities be open. Doors of grace. I command breakthrough into your life in the name of Jesus. Every captivity in your life, I prophesy, surely there is an end. And I call tonight the end of it. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Bible says you shall call on one person and a nation will respond to you I declare that even those who do not like you will accomplish the purposes of God in your life I compel Cyrus by the power of the Spirit to bless you in the name of Jesus hallelujah and every request that you dropped here from the depths of your heart we stand in agreement in the name that is above all names and we turn that prayer request to a testimony now we turn that prayer request to a testimony now hallelujah thank you jesus christ keep standing i want to give an opportunity to those who have never made jesus lord of their lives please inside and outside Please, let's have minimal movement all those who have never made a decision for Jesus Christ the Bible says come unto me all ye that are weary and heavy and heavy laden and I will give you rest it says for my yoke is easy and my burden is light hallelujah inside and outside some of you have given your heart to the Lord please let's keep standing if you can the elderly ones can remain seated but please the young people can we stand hallelujah in honor of this great miracle yes it's a big miracle now if you've never made a decision for jesus christ especially many of you outside or you have given your heart to the lord but you found yourself derailing this is an opportunity you have seen the hand of god but all of this is pointing you to the fact that god is love and he wants to establish a vital relationship with you right now as i count one to five i want you to leave your seat forget about anyone you came here with and say jesus i'm coming to you let's start all over hallelujah begin to appreciate them don't wait for anybody you are the first person one god bless you keep coming god bless you inside and outside please keep coming don't sit back there inside and outside no matter how far we're waiting for you just hurry up and come. God bless you. Two. God bless you. Keep coming. But adventure, you've been born again and you're saying, Lord, I want to rededicate my life and make a genuine decision for Jesus Christ. Three. Please keep coming. Don't let anybody stop you. Whether you're a pastor, whether you're a bishop, keep coming. God bless you. God bless you. Keep coming. God bless you. This is what it's all about. Keep coming. Keep coming. It's all about you, Jesus. Keep coming. There's one last count. No matter how far you are outside, you can keep coming. It's all about you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. I salute you, brothers and sisters, for coming. We do not take it for granted. Thank you for the boldness. I want you to make a decision for Jesus Christ. You don't get born again just because you recited salvation prayer. But this is just to guide you and to help you. Lift up your right hand and say this after me from the depths of your heart. It's not a special number. Mean it from your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you. And I believe in you. I believe you died for me. And tonight, I make Jesus Lord of my life forgive me my sins cleanse me from every unrighteousness 
I declare that I'm saved. The Spirit of God lives in me. My name is in the book of life. From today, I have a relationship with Jesus. I denounce sin and Satan. And I make a decision to live for Jesus all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. Now let me pray for you. Father, thank you. The Bible says, as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. You have brought these ones by the power of your spirit. Preserve them. Let the same grace that brought them out preserve them. Use them for your glory. Empower them. May they be mighty men and women in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Now, hold on. Thank you for making this great decision. Praise the Lord. I want you to follow the ushers. We'll be having a meeting with you. We'll communicate to you tomorrow by 5 at the chapel. Hallelujah. There will be people there to come and pray with you, get you filled with the Holy Spirit, teach you a few things. And um, please try to make it. You'll receive a text to this effect. But just make sure that you are available and we love you. God bless you. Welcome to the biggest kingdom, the family of God. Just follow the ushers, follow the lady waving her hands. Bless you, bless you. Follow the lady waving her hands. Hallelujah. Now, all those worshipping with us for the first time, if this is your first time worshipping with us here at Koinonia, inside and outside, no matter how far you are, we have a prayer and a blessing for you. I want you to leave your seat and come out gloriously. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Please keep coming. If there's someone seated close to you who is not coming, tell him, come. There is a blessing for you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Those outside, God bless you. Keep coming. We want to pray and prophesy and appreciate and celebrate you. Thank you. Thank you. The Lord brought you by the power of his spirit. He brought you to change you. He brought you to build you. You will never be the same. Never, never be the same. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're glad to have you here. This is Koinonia. Praise the Lord. A meeting put together by Eternity Network International. And this happens to be our last service for the year. We're happy having you around. Praise the Lord. We'll be resuming next year on the 10th. 10th will be our, our next service. And we'd like to see you again and again. We have a prayer and a blessing for you prayer works here we are men of faith and of the power of the spirit if we bless you believe me you are blessed hallelujah saints of god stretch your hands and prophesy speak into their lives you are anointed you are blessed so go ahead and bless them prophesy we release words of blessings you are preserved we plant a hunger for spiritual hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.